Greetings, Chief. Greetings, Chief. Beautiful princesses. You both look amazing. How are you today? We are fine. I'm doing well, thank you. My beautiful princesses, how are you both doing? We are fine. I'm good. Um, Chief, my father will be out shortly. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh. Oh. Queen. 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 He came with his family. He fought. My princess, the love of my life, the sun that shines in my darkest moment, I propose to you before everyone here. Marry me and make me complete. Excuse me, everybody. I'm not caught up for this. What was the meaning of that? Mom, I... I'd like to be alone now, if you don't mind. you like to be alone? My dear, everyone is out there waiting. You got all of us confused. What is the problem? <sighs> In my head, I am processing so much right now and because of that i'd like to be alone please mom please just go my dear princess it doesn't speak well of you you two have been good together you two have been together for a while now you never acted as if you weren't interested this action of yours is not commendable at all 
please i beg you in the name of all that you hold sacred please leave me alone leave me and and leave this topic for now okay i will go but i want you to go out there and speak to chibike he doesn't deserve this kind of treatment from you it's not good can you please stop making this situation any more difficult than it already is it's okay i'll leave but i just want you to know that everybody is not happy with you this action of yours is unfair it is not good at all it is unfair Tell me what the problem is. I want both of you to go and speak to your sister. I don't know what her problem is. No, you mean she did not tell you the reason she said no to Chubiki? She did not say anything. I want both of you to go and talk to her. Probably she will listen to both of you. Is Chibike still around? Yes, mom. Okay. Let me go and speak to your father. But I want both of you to go and speak sense into your sister. I don't want to lose this good relationship we have with you for Menkafel and Anya's family. Speak to her. But mom, what if she does not want to get married to him for real? At least she has a right over her life. Then she shouldn't have encouraged that relationship at the very first time. I want both of you to speak sense into her and make her see reason she should accept Chibike's proposal. We will do that right away, Mom. It's okay. Has anyone considered why she said no to him? Mom, she has a right to choose whoever she wants to spend the rest of her life with. Princess Udenna, mm. please go and speak sense into your sister. Ignore Maji here. Excuse me. All right. Your Highness, you need to go and speak to her. She listens to you more. She can't do this. She can just say no without any reason. Your Highness, they have been together for a while now. She wouldn't have encouraged that relationship if she knew she can't marry him. I, 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 oh, would you stop already? Stop! Have, have you have you talked for one minute? I mean, just one minute. Why would your daughter say no in the presence of everybody? Have you? Anyway, I am going to talk to my daughter. I will definitely. But first of all, Chibuki and all his family members should leave. You you want them to leave just like that? Have you considered what people will say if they live with such a terrible news? Your Majesty, please go and speak to her and make her see reason she should say yes to Chibike's proposal. Listen, woman. The only thing that matters most to me right now is the mental health of my daughter. Not anymore. See, this is a life we are talking about. She is the one wearing the shoe, not you. Allow her to make a choice. Allow her! I know. I knew very well that you would support her. You are the one that spoiled that girl. I knew it. I knew that you would support her. Listen, Chibike. This embarrassment is unacceptable. A man of my status will pass through this kind of insult because of you. If I should speak now, you will say that I am being harsh. But let me tell you something. You are a disgrace to me. Dad. Hey, don't die. Speak to your brother. Let him get up for us to leave this place. Or have we not been disgraced enough? Look, Dad. We are going to leave. But at least let him hear from Princess Chimel first before we can go. 
See her and do what with her. Listen to me. I don't want you to provoke me beyond the limit I could take. Get up for us to leave this place right now. Or are you waiting for her to throw us out? Is that what you want? Princess, are you sure you are okay? Yes, Dad. I'm fine. I hope you know that I'm always here for you if you need someone to speak to, right? I know. And I hope you know that this won't just go away like that, right? I know that. That's all right. I think I have to leave you now. But do not allow anyone force you into doing something that you don't want to do. Yes. Whenever you're ready to face him, I believe he will listen to you. Yes. <laughs> One more thing. I know that your mother is going to pressure you so much. But don't allow that affect you. Always bear at the back of your mind that she wants the best for you. Amen. Be good as always. Am I not? I told you that that girl is not good for you, but you will not listen. Now she has shown her true color. She has no regards whatsoever for how you feel or how anybody feels because she is a spoiled brat. That's what she is. Father, this is not the time to blame anyone. What? Yes, we need to calm down first. I mean, we should be looking for a way to calm our own down. Not to make him feel like this. What? Maybe the princess has a reason to do what she did. No, 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 no. She has no reason whatsoever to do what she did. Because she is a spread brat who has no concern for whatever thing that concerns the other person. I told you that that girl is not good for you, but you will never listen. I have a son that will never listen to anybody. Have you seen it now? Can, can, can you imagine that? No, no, are you seeing your brother? Can you imagine what the son of Shifome Kafrenaya has become? There are many women out there who can do anything to be wives to the son of Amen Kafrenaya, but the one who is privileged to be my son is ready to die for a useless woman who has no understanding of what this means. Can you see that? Dad, please. You are being too tough on him. And that is what I want. I want to have a, a son who is tough. A tough son who is going to marry another woman today and move on with his life as if nothing happened. That is the kind of son I want. But no, I don't have that son. I have a fool who is crying because of a woman. Listen, I want you to go and talk to that idiot who you have as a brother who is parading himself as my son, ask him to become a man. And the earlier he does that, the better for all of us. African men and their complex problem.
You said you guys were good until now. Then what went wrong? Oh, is there another man somewhere? No. She's not that kind of woman. I trust her. There can't be any other man. You trust her? Yes, I trust her so much. Then why did she change her mind? I mean, why did she treat us the way she treated us? Uh, are you the only one in this relationship all along? If there is something I'm very sure of. That should be Princess Chimera's love towards me. It was never one-sided. She loves me. I can see it in her eyes. She was so sweet. But forever though. Yes. It's not even realistic. Very possible. I can stay for You <laughs> stay with me forever. Without getting tired. Yes. I can stay forever with you without getting tired of you. Each time I'm with you is like a dream I never want to end. Whenever I look into your eyes, I forget that the world exists. You're my world. Oh my god. You're my everything. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're too sweet. And look at how you're making me blush like a teenager. And I promise to always keep that smile on your face. I promise. <laughs> Come on, but you never told me you wanted to travel for your birthday. Okay, fine. You know that wouldn't be a problem. Well, I didn't tell you because I know you will want to stress yourself. And I hate it when you stress yourself. Ah, huh. you're not such a sweetheart. But yet, I still have to at least take care of things for you. For goodness sake, you're my woman and I love you so much. So don't tell me I'm stressing myself for you. I can do anything for my baby. Well, fine. I won't travel again. But seriously, I don't want to have a loud celebration for this birthday. So I am begging on time. Please, I don't want any party. I just want to have a quiet day. Can you guys let me? Okay, Your Highness. Your subjects are ready to do as you said. Your Highness, all correct. Stop that. I have to fix something real quick. Talk later. All right. Kiss, kiss. Surprise! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? What is that? Very pleased and surprised. I know. Like, did you disappear and appear here? Well, I wanted to choke you a little bit. Seriously, I was choked. I know. Like, I just finished speaking to you on the phone, and the next thing, boom, you're here. I know. Well, I had to come because I need to look into your eyes as you assure me that you are not going to plan an elaborate birthday party for me. You were. I don't want stories that touch. You. Mm -hmm. You. Mm -hmm. Just say that you missed me and so I stop giving you all these excuses. Well, I did miss you. But that's not why I drove like a mad woman to this place. Listen, it's very important to me that you don't get up to any surprises. Please. Oh, we've already talked about it before. And now I want us to talk about it again. This time. Looking at each other. You already know that my priority is to always make you happy. That's right. To be that man you always be proud of. That man that will never go against your wish. Mm -hmm. You said no birthday surprises, no, right? No birthday. Fine. I cross my heart. No birthday surprises for my baby. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. I love you. And um from what I'm seeing, this investment is not worth it. The income is too small compared to the capital invested. I am sure it will take time for us to make our money before we start talking about profit. So I will advise you don't invest in it. Are you okay? Babe. What? Oh my God. I'm sorry, I drifted for a bit. What, did you say something? What is the matter with you? I don't 
don't know. Um, nothing. I, I, I suddenly don't feel like discussing business or anything else for that matter. Okay. So let's talk about us. So tell me, where would you want to go this weekend? I mean, how would you want your thank God is Friday look like? I don't know. But I do know I want to go home now. I'll, 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 I'll call you. Okay, let me drop you there. No, no, there won't be any need for that. I'll call you. This whole thing is confusing. I mean, if you guys we are good together, then why then did she say no to you? Why? Why did you say no to me? Princess Chimere, you're the one who's supposed to answer this question. Why did you say no? Why did you say no? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I said this before, I'm saying it again. Everyone should leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Is it hard to understand? How do you want us to understand what is not understandable? I mean, if you were in my shoes, will you understand why someone would say no to someone she clearly loved? I mean, this is one of the best relationships I have ever seen. Now tell me, princess, how do you want me to understand all of this? How? Listen to me. See all of this cold that's your brandishing. I don't care for it. You know why? Because I am not in the mood for it. Leave me alone. Everyone leave me be. Is that too much to ask? Of course it is. It is too much to ask at this moment. We cannot let you be. No way. I won't even let you be. You need to talk to someone. You need to let us see things from your own perspectives. See, just let us in. Let us know what is happening. You, you are pushing me so hard. And I am this close to throwing you out. Uh, yes. Okay, fine. I can see you don't even care how anyone feels right now. I don't. Oh, but, but, but it's okay. I'll let you be. Um. But I will also remind you that this is not nice at all. You didn't do well. I'll see you later. Were you able to make her speak? <sighs> My queen, this is beyond me. The princess is obviously not speaking to anyone. I don't know what has come over her. I can't even believe that my friend will pull up this kind of act without even telling me her best friend. <sighs> Do you know if there is another man in her life? No. I am so sure of that. So what is the problem? Why is she acting this way? My queen, I think the princess needs time to cool off her head. Let's, let's give her time. No, no, there is no time. The more we live this, the more it gets sore. In that case, maybe I'll have to speak to her again. And this time around, let's just stay positive about it. Please do. I really count on you. No problem. Just trust me, I'll do my best. It's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you.
Please sit. I'm sorry, Ogonne, but I'm unable to process or understand this. Are you trying to tell me that she didn't give you reason for her actions? She's your friend. How sure are you about that? Honestly, she did not tell me her reasons for saying no to you. My friend loves you so much. And I'm so sure she still wants you in her life. But what I cannot comprehend is her fears. What really made her say no to you? I know that something is wrong somewhere. And that I must surely find out. She should just say something at least. How am I supposed to know what is wrong with her when she has refused to say anything? How am I supposed to know that she loved me when she can't even see me right now? Well, um, Chibike, let us give her time. Okay? Let's not just be in the haste to conclude everything. She's not picking my calls. She refused to see me. With time, she will speak Please, up. Please, Ogonne, help me speak to her. Help me talk to her. Just try and find out. I, I deserve to know what is wrong. No problem. I will do that. But I really need you to calm down this time around. Okay? So how did it go? Did her friend open up to you? I don't know. It's like I'm missing something. Like the whole thing being a joke. Or was she lying all the while? I don't understand what's going on. What did her friend say? The same thing. She refused to speak to her best friend. She refused to speak to her dad, her mom, even her sisters. Who then would she speak to? This whole thing is confusing. Why is the princess refusing to talk to anyone? I mean, what is wrong with the princess? What have I done wrong? Where exactly have I gone wrong? Why can't she at least speak? Why can't she say something? This whole thing is making me go crazy. <sighs> Chibike, just don't be like that, okay? You know father hates to see this emotional. Then does it appear to you as if I care? Chief Omen Kavlolaya has never been in love, so he doesn't understand anything. Don't tell me about what he thinks. He can think whatever thing he likes. It's none of my business. Where are you going? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm very well. And you? I'm good. I'm sure you're looking for my sister. Yes. I've been calling her on the phone, but she's not picking my calls. I hope oh. everything is fine. Yes, everything is fine. Maybe she's not with her phone or something. Okay, so sorry can I see that. her? Yo, you, you just missed her. She just left right now. She left for an emergency meeting and she will not be back anytime soon. Hi. So sorry. Okay. That means I have to leave. But please tell her that I was here. That she should at least pick my calls. Yeah. Sorry, I will. Okay. Thank you. She just left. Hey. And what was that for? What are you referring to? Oh, God, the pretense. I heard everything you told Chibriki. How could you lie to him that Chimere is not around when you know full well that he deserves to at least see her? Sister said she does not want to see him. How is that my fault? I was just obeying orders. Mm -hmm. Listen to yourself. When will you stop being selfish? Do you even care about how he feels? Do you bother to know how his mental health is affected by all of this? Don't know you, are not even serious. How is that my fault? Fine, he's hot. But do you think it's easy on sister? Do you think she's enjoying this whole drama? H have you ever sat down to think or imagine what could make sister say no to the man she dearly loves? You don't even care about her mental health. 
you don't even care how she's feeling. Sister is the one making things difficult for herself and everyone. Why can't she just open up? I'll open her mouth and speak out. What is there that she's hiding? Look, as long as I'm concerned, Chibuke is the only one that's affected here. And you should try to make things easy for the poor guy. Why are you crying more than the bereaved? Who is that? <laughs> How come I didn't hear the sound of your car? That's because I didn't, I didn't go in my car. Was everybody monitoring my every move? Oh. It's <sighs> Look at you. I've told you times without number. Cheer up. Come on, cheer up. It's telling on you. You held, please. Okay, even if you don't believe anyone else. You have me. Please, cheer up. I just wish I can make this whole thing go away right now. Okay. Everyone hates me now. And I can't do anything but wish that this whole thing will go away. My sister, sees me as the worst person in the world. My mom thinks I am a selfish, insensitive brat. And my friend sees me as a bad friend who has refused to open up to her friend. Okay. I'm yet to know how my father feels about all of this, but I won't even lie. This is just too much for me to bear. I understand. I understand. Take it easy. All right, let's sit down. Just sit. <sighs> I want you to listen to the words I'm about to say now. Please just listen. If you do not, they do not deserve to understand you right now but believe me one day one fateful day by the time they have seen your reasons for doing what you're doing they will have no choice but to understand why you had to do what you did cheer up when are we going to be ready uh, I'm thinking of um, beginning of next month or just uh, next month. I'm feeling next month. By next month, we're ready. So you're still seeing that girl? Chibike, after everything that happened, you still had the guts to leave this compound and go to that place to see that girl. Are you out of your mind? It has gotten to the extent that you now monitor every of my moves. You now monitor every of my moves, right? That is not the bone of contention here, Chibike. How dare you stoop so low to allow a male woman to march on your head proudly and you're not doing anything about it. Nobody's marching on my head, father. I've not done anything wrong. Just leave me alone. This is my life and I have every right to live it the way I want to. You don't have any right to live your life the way you want it, Chibike. Listen to me, I am your father. And I am telling you what you must do right here, right now. Whatever thing you have going with that girl, cut it. I don't want you to ever go seeing that girl. And I don't want it to be reported that you are certain with that girl anywhere. If it happens, I am going to kill you with my bare hands. With all due respect, Shifo Menka Florana, you do not have the right to tell me who not to be with. For goodness sake, I am not a child. I am a man who has done businesses with top military officers. I deliver Christian maturity. 
I love the princess. I will not leave her except she said she does not want me. Mind your business. I am going to end whatever it is you have going with that princess. Mark it somewhere. I will end it. And nothing can stop me. Can you imagine? This is my life and nobody has the right to tell me how I live it. Look at you. I was thinking you're never gonna come back. Okay. I missed you anyway. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What is the meaning of this nonsense, CJ? What are you doing here? Since you have refused to pick my call, I decided to come visit you. Is there anything wrong with that? I won't ask you who let you in because I already know who did. But I beg you, leave this house this minute because I wouldn't want to use force on you. I know you're not saying that. I missed you. Please. Look, Ejo. Leave me alone. Stop allowing my father to use you because this will never work. Stay away with your seduction. Please. Are you saying you're not seeing all this? What's wrong with this guy? What kind of nonsense was that? For crying out loud, I am an adult. Is it because I'm still staying in his house? This is why I wanted to leave this house, but you never allowed me. I can't continue to allow my dad keep meddling in my business, in my affairs. Look at the thing. That slut he sent to me again. Don't worry, okay? I will talk to him. And as for that girl, EJ, she should pray I don't get to meet her again in this house. Because I will teach her how to be responsible since her parents failed to no, do no, so. No, 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 no. You don't need to stress yourself about her. I can always handle her in my own way. Just save your strength. I don't know why dad would not stop meddling. And if you ask him now, he will say it's because he loves you. No, 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 no. Tell him I don't need such love. Tell him that I said so. I don't need such love. I don't need his love. Period. It's okay. Huh? It's fine. It's fine. Huh? Why are you avoiding Chibike? Your sister told me he was here to see you, but you refused to see him. My, my sister? Of course she told you. That sister would be Princess Uduna. Right? What is wrong with that girl? She needs to shut up. So it is now a crime. It is now a crime for your sister to look out for you. It is now a crime for your sister to want the best for you. Yes, mom. It's a crime when she does not mind her business. For she... goodness sake, it's my life. Since when did my life become Udonna's business? She's looking out for you. Oh. And you should appreciate it. Me why back to what I was asking you before we move into all this. Why have you been avoiding Chibike? I am not ready to face him yet. You are not ready to face him. Have you considered how that young man will feel? Couple with the fact that you don't even want to see him. Have you considered his pains? The way he will feel about the whole thing? He should calm down and give me some time. Princess Chimere, that is too much of you to ask of him. Put yourself in his shoes. Hmm. 
I'll talk to him when I'm able to. I know you think everyone is blind to whatever that is happening between you and the princess. And both of you think you are smart enough to keep it very low so that no one would find out. But that's a lie. Because I had my eyes fixed on the princess since the day she said no to Chibiki. In all honesty, I must tell you that I am disappointed. <laughs> You know, I'm just wondering how is your stupid and useless disappointment my business? So, what are you doing here? Okay, I know you're nosy. You like pork nosing, you gossip, your mouth is very loud, you know. So, actually, in all your findings, when you're done, what are you going to do with it? Tell me. Well, I'm not surprised at what you are oozing out of your mouth because you're such an ingrate. I mean, what has your friend done to you to deserve such a desperate act from you? Desperado. I don't think I'm going to stand here and listen to this rubbish you're saying in my house because I, your presence disgusts me already. <laughs> so I just, I just have to leave. Hey, 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 listen. Fine, I am going to leave because I had no intention to live here. I don't do business with ingrates like you. Excuse me, get out of the way because you stink already. You're making me sick. What is going on? Why is everybody talking to me this way? Shit. Oh my God, how did you know I needed this? Because I always pay attention to your needs. Thank you. Thank you. You're such a darling. Oh. <laughs> Anything for my baby. Oh, you're so sweet. What's the plan for tonight? Hmm. Well, I do know that baby girl wants a weekend getaway. Ah. You love travel more than food. You know me. <laughs> so what say ye, my love? So, where do you have in mind? Yes, that's why I love you! <laughs> Let me think. Hmm. Hello, Chief. Honestly, I do not know why you want us to see. If it is about Chibiki and the princess, I wish to state the fact that I do not have power over princess's decision. Okay, fine. I will think through it and I will get back to you. All right, see you later. Bye. Why is he doing this? I mean, what exactly does he want? What exactly are you doing? Have you forgotten this is a palace? Why are you blocking the gates? I am surprised you came out to ask me what I'm doing here. When you know why I'm here. Why not make it work? Really? Why are you avoiding me? Why can't you face me? At least why not have the decency of telling me what went wrong? What have I done to deserve the humiliation? I'm making... You're creating a scene. I am creating a scene. Yes, you are. Are you for real? Like, do you really care? 
You don't want me to create a scene. Are you sure this is not the right place for us to talk? Because I feel you wouldn't want us to talk somewhere private because I might eat you up. Stop it. Now enter your car and go home. I am not going anywhere until you tell me what went wrong. What have I done? What did I do to you? Um, tell me. Answer me. I'm um, sorry, sorry. I have to interrupt. I'm um, sorry. The king sent us on an errand and it's very urgent. I am not going anywhere until your sister tells me what happened. What have I done to her? Go inside there and ask her what I've done to... It's okay. Calm down, eh? Don't worry. I will personally convince her to come and see you. Maybe when she comes, you, the both of you will have heart to heart talks. For, but for now, please go. Sorry. Listen. I said I am not here to see my friend the princess. Please, just go in and tell the queen that I'm here to see her. And I ask, why do you want to see the queen? Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this girl. Wait, I must run the taste for you before I see the queen. Okay, now let me remind you, in case you have forgotten, that I am not a visitor in this palace. Okay? I know my way to the queen's room. And I am so sure she will be happy to see me. You must not be rude in order to pass your message. I only ask why you want to see the queen. And I can decide you won't see her if I choose. Well, looking at you right now, you are a bag of trouble. I do not want any of your troubles. Greetings, my queen. Yes, she is my queen. It's okay. You can go. Greetings, my queen. Please sit. Thank you. Well, can I hear you? Yes, I. What I want us to talk about is very important. Okay. What is it? I know the person that made the princess say no to Chibiki. What? Since after the incident, I had my eyes fixed on the princess. I have been monitoring her. Then I realized she always visits him using a taxi. And she tried as much as possible to keep a very low profile so no one would find out. Wait. What are you trying to say? You mean my daughter has been double dating without anybody knowing it? My Is that what you're trying to tell me? I was shocked as well. Honestly, to think that the, the princess is my friend and I never knew she was double dating. So who is that animal? Who is the idiot that is trying to deceive my daughter? Who is he? His name is Mwabuwane. He is Chibike's friend. The princess got to know him through Chibike. We are all friends, but I never knew both of them had a thing for each other. No. No. Whatever they have for each other must die. I can never allow my daughter to be deceived by any idiot. No! It is not possible. No. No! You, you have to do something fast. Do you really think I should interfere in something as basic as this? This is not basic, my lord. We need to confront that stupid guy that has been playing with our daughter's emotions. He obviously deceived her. And we cannot just fold our arms and watch things get out of place. <laughs> ah, you're very funny, you know. You really think someone can deceive the princess? As old as she is? My lord. You never can tell. Anything can happen. We can't just allow that stupid nobody get married to our princess. No. Chibike is a better suitor for her. Now, what exactly is your problem? What point are you trying to make? 
Is it that you don't want the princess to get married to somebody without a strong family background or that you really feel that she was deceived? Your friend was here. There is something going on in this palace and it's about you. I tried to find out but mom wouldn't say anything to me. What are you talking about? Your friend was here. She insisted on seeing the queen and immediately she left. Since then, the king and the queen have been arguing. What's new about that? They argue. They always argue. This is not the normal type of argue. It's about you and you need to find out. Excuse me. There is something going on since you left the palace. Do you mind telling me what you told my mom? Of course it has nothing to do with me, I'm just being curious. Are you not going to talk to me? This interrogation is uncalled for. Mwabwane is my friend. Just a friend? Are you telling me it is not because of him that you said no to Chibike? Mommy, like I said, Mwabwane is my friend. And he has absolutely nothing to do with what is going on between Chibike and I. Besides, I'm allowed to have friends, aren't I? Chimera. Yes, mom. We are your parents and we want the best for you. You don't have to lie about this because the person that relayed the information to me is sure of it. And who is that person? Who? Chimera. Dad? I want to believe you're not lying to me. Daddy, I'm not lying. There is absolutely no reason for me to lie. And mom, I still want to know. Who is it that told you I am dating Mwabwane? It doesn't matter. Just make sure you are not lying to us. Because if I eventually find out that you are lying to us, Shimere, I will not forgive you. Noted, your majesty, the queen. Chimera. Yes, daddy. You can go. Thank you, daddy. Your majesty. What is it? You know full well that Chimere might be telling us lies, but you won't do anything. You can't even pressure her to tell us the truth. And you know full well that she listens to you more than any other person in this world. But no, you would rather allow her to misbehave than call her to order.
going somewhere. Eh? Yes. I need to deliver a message to someone. To what one they pick up? What is this? Donna, if you have any form of silliness up your sleeves, I am in no mood for it. How can you be ready for it? Obviously, you don't care about anything anymore other than yourself. How could you? So you left Chibuke because of Mabuwane. How at least can you be? I know you. You always like to display all forms of foolishness. And no matter how hard I try to suppress your foolishness from manifesting, you never let me. But this time, girl, I am going to ignore you. I'll ignore you and I'll allow you wallow in your stupidity because I don't care for it. I know it will be difficult for you to accept the truth, but I'll still tell you. I never expected this from you. You disappoint me and you're still disappointing me. You watch your tongue, young woman. And don't you dare point those fingers at me. I will deal with you if you try it again. Watch that tongue now. It just might get you into trouble. Now you can leave. But just know that this does not tell well of you. You're a princess, so you should act like one. I wonder who is wallowing in stupidity. You that does not know what you're doing with your life, or me that has my life all figured out. Be there and be playing big sister. You think it's by age. Rubbish. Yeah, who is it? What happened? You sounded so worried on the phone. Talk to me, what happened? Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. My parents found out about us. Okay, and ever since, I'm scared. I'm scared that their knowledge might blow up in our faces before we achieve our aim. What exactly did they tell you? What were their words? They are questioning me on my relationship with you. That means they're just guessing. They don't... They're not sure. That's not the point. The point is, how did they find out about you? I made sure no one knows you're in the picture. The other day, your friend came here and she was asking questions and saying things. But I didn't want to tell you because I don't want to get you worried over anything. But... It's obvious she was the one who went to your parents and told them this. What are you saying? Ogonne was here? Yes. How did she find out about you? Maybe... Maybe she has been monitoring your movements, following you and... And all that. Who knows? I'm not surprised. But how can Ogonne even do that? I don't know. Why? Well, what else would she hope to achieve if not the same thing she's been trying to achieve since we became friends. And what is that? Akonle always likes to be in my parents' good books. Hmm. Doing any and everything to please them. 
She even wishes they adopt her. Wow. Wow. That's a bad look. No. No, no, I... <sighs> I haven't figured anything out yet. Nothing has crossed my mind. Who is it? It's me, Machi. I'll call you back. Come in. How are you holding up? I'm doing okay. Surviving. I heard there's a new man in the picture. Is that true? Do you believe that? To be honest with you, you know I support you and I will always support you. But I don't know what to believe anymore. The whole situation is confusing and strange to me. Hush. Believe me when I say this. Mwabumane is only but my friend. Well, let me believe you. So, how is mom taking it? The new development. <laughs> you know mom. Mom will always be mom. Reading wild meanings into everything. I thought you were my friend. You were supposed to be my friend. You were supposed to have my back and not betray me. How could you do this? I am sorry. But the thing is that you have not been talking to me lately. I mean, you hardly tell me things. So I thought you would deny it when I confront you about it. Oh. So because I haven't been telling you things, you proceeded to tell the queen some nonsense. Why? You thought, you, you th you thought that would solve, salvage the situation? What's wrong with you? I am sorry. I am truly sorry. But the fact is that I was just looking out for you. No, you were not looking out for me. You were being your regular selfish self. Poke nosing into matters that do not concern you and hurting people that you do not even care about. Again, I ask, how could you do this? So, looking out for my friend is now being selfish. Is that what you're- Shut up! Just shut up already, you're gonna don't make me angrier than I am already. I am sorry. All of this will never happen again. Forgive me, please. You're not sorry. You will do worse than you've done already when the opportunity presents itself. Excuse me. Honestly, I am sorry. I am sure of what I am saying. Yes, someone from the palace told me about it. That cannot be true. I've been with the princess long enough to know what she can do and what she cannot do. She can possibly be cheating on me. Do you trust her that much? I mean, are you sure she deserves such trust? Yes, she does. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a fake rumor. Aimed at denting the princess so that I can hate her. Okay, if you say so, then do your findings. 
And let's hope and believe that it's just a fake rumor, just like you said. Listen, I love the person so much. And no matter how hard they try, they cannot succeed to make me hate her. She's my life. And I will love her forever. You know what? Just deal with it. This is why they even call me. <laughs> is everything okay? Ah. What's going on? Is everything okay? But one day we are supposed to be my friend. You were supposed to watch my back. How could you? We've been friends since we were kids. Oh, hold on, man. You're still my friend. What's going on? Don't ask me what's going on. Of all the people you decide to kill systematically, why settle for me? I'm asking you, why settle for me? Take it easy, man. You shall. Don't me. tell me to take it easy. Systematically killed you? How? I don't. What's going on? Hi. My sister just left now, eh? Why do you not call her before coming here? You just missed her. I've been calling her since yesterday, but she never picked. Mm. Oh, she has not been feeling too well. Maybe that's why. Try. Do you have an idea when she'll be back? Back? Hi! I forgot to tell you, my father sent her to Abuja eh, for an official meeting. Yeah, I just made my way into the main living room. Yeah, please tell her I'm here. You can't even look at me anymore. I need you to look at me. Look me straight in the eyes and tell me you love him. And you'd rather be with him than with me. Tell me he's the hope of your blissful tomorrow. I will understand and respect that opinion of yours. Chiriki, please don't start. I should not start to what? At least I deserve to know the truth. Or better still, I deserve to know who took my place. It's not as it seems. This is... This whole thing is just... It's so one day the reason you rejected my proposal. Tell me the truth. Have the decency to end this torture. Tell me, and I will leave you for good. Are you using me just for an experiment? Or you were using me to pass time? Was everything a lie? This has nothing to do with Mwabuwane. But it has everything to do with your father. I 
I don't understand. What do you mean it's, it has to do with my father? Suddenly, I am aware of how heartless your father is. I am aware of his illegal dealings. His illegal way of producing chalks in the name of drugs. Many lives wasted on account of this wickedness your father brandishes. I love you. But I'm sorry, I, I don't envision myself ending up with such a man as my father-in-law. No. You mean you know about all these things we've been together and you never said anything? You rejected me because of my father? Oh, that's not fair. Even now, I'm still not ready to talk about this. I never planned to, but here I am talking about it. And that is because I do not want you to leave here with a false analogy in your head from a concerned citizen. Mwabuwane is your friend. And you're right. I should have said something to you. But I didn't I did not see that proposal coming at the time it did. I was looking for a better time to say it. You know you can't leave me because of my father. It's not fair, you can't just leave me because of my father's deed. Listen to me, your comrade. I am not going to allow that man become an obstacle to my business. That's why I'm calling you. Whatever thing you can do, you have my permission to do it. I need him to get off my space. Listen. If you want us turning him off, so be it. Okay? Yes, what is it? I knew that one day your recklessness and wickedness will affect people close to you. Like I knew when I refused to join your business. Tell me, Dad, what wrong have I done to deserve you as a father? No matter how hard I try to run away from your dealings, it always finds a way to affect me. Why am I so unlucky? Please shut up, Chibike. Shut up before I shut it the hard way. Are you crazy or something? I'm not scared of you, Dad. Listen, I am that fearless Chibike who runs multi-millionaire businesses with top office. And because you run multi-millionaire businesses with officers, you don't believe you can talk to me anyhow? What has come over you, Chibike? I will keep telling you this. That one day you will pay for all the abnormable acts you've been committing in this country. Only in the name of acquiring wealth. Shut up. Shut up, Chibike, or you will force me to forget you are my son. Let me tell you, if that happens, I am going to treat you like a common criminal. What else can you do? You can do your worst. Dad, bring it on. Just let me remind you. If I end up not getting married to the princess, you will never regret having me as a son. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. You mean this madness you are exhibiting is because of that useless daughter of a classless king? And I don't care whatever problem you are having with the king. I am getting married to the princess and not the king. She's my life. Will you shut up? Shut up, Chibike, before I slap you here. Are you out of your mind? How can you stand before a man of my caliber and vomit that kind of nonsense that a woman is your wife? And you're parading yourself as my son. Look at you. Standing here threatening your friend because of a woman. Let me tell you something, Chibike. Do not force me to start seeing you as an imbecile. Because if that happens, I am going to kill you. I am not going to have an imbecile as a son. 
Do not become one because if you try it, CBK, you are dead. Just pray she reconsiders me. I don't even know why I'm still standing here with you. I should pray that a woman reconsiders you. What is wrong with this boy? Chimera, why are you punishing Chibike because of his father? For goodness sake, he is not his father. These are two different men doing two different things. I'm not surprised you're sounding this way, Mom. Mm -hmm. Knowing you, you would want me more than anything to get married into that family because they are influential and they have money. But mom, there are some kinds of money that one should turn down, especially when the source is questionable. Chimere. Like this one. Chimere. This man is doing normal business, just like everyone else. <laughs> I don't even know why people want to taint his name. Okay. If you say he is producing chalk, like you said, then those people that it is their duty to checkmate that area, like uh, Standard Organization and, and NAVDAC, would have closed his business a long time ago. So who are you to become a judge? Mom, checkmating him and his business would have been appropriate if it weren't for this zoo of a country that we live in. Is it not our country again? Where anybody can do anything and get away with it because they have money. You know that. Why are you so stubborn and illogical? Why can't you become a woman for once? I am a woman. Huh? Must, 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 you, must you look into everything? Chimere, um. this can be a rumor for all we know. Why can't you ignore it? This young man in question loves you so much and that is the only thing that matters. Well, Mom, I have made up my mind and no one is going to stop me. See this beautiful life of mine? I would not let anybody stain it with blood money. That man is not who he makes people believe he is. And I would do anything, go extra length, to gather enough evidence with which to prove my case. If the princess loves you, she will not punish you for the sins of your father. So please take father out of this. I mean, the princess is obviously looking for a way to justify her actions. Are you trying to feign ignorance of what has been going on? Or are you trying to tell me that you can get married to a son of an Amrava? They are two different things. I mean, father is doing business for survival. He's not robbing anybody. Can you even listen to yourself speak? Do you know how many lives have been lost because of this father doing business of survival? Let me ask you, how will you feel if your son fell sick and was taken to the hospital but you lost him because of fake drugs? God forbid. I mean, that's more reason why I will not treat any of my kids here in Nigeria. I'll take them abroad. Oh, really? So people who cannot afford to receive treatment abroad don't deserve to leave? Answer me. Look, the whole thing is complicated. I know what father is doing is not good, but the country is so hard. Legit ways do not give good money, so don't blame him. I don't know, you're the one saying all these things. What happens to humanity? Do you know how many hearts have been broken? Lives that have been ruined because of father's wickedness? I am so disappointed in you. <sighs> Look, Chibike, it's not like I am supporting father. But sometimes you need to understand people. You don't need to judge them because you've not, you don't know what they've been through. No matter what anybody has been through, it's not enough reason to take lives or even hurt someone. And to think of that, I won him. I did. 
you want him. What do you mean by that? I beg you to stop this illegal production of drugs. You've made enough money that will last you for a lifetime. Why not look for something else to do or better still do this in a right way? Hey, you see, you see, son, I am going to cut you here because I need to educate you on the subject of money. From the way you are sounding, you don't know much about money. Listen to me. Money is very important in the life of a man. And you will never have enough of it. No matter how much you think you have. Billions and billions. Once you stop making money, that money will begin to go down. Okay? But that is so people like us who have already keyed into the arena of money must be allowed to continue making money. You don't have any reason whatsoever to abandon a business that is giving you money because of sentiment. This is to the detriment of people's well-being. Lives have been lost. People have been broken because of this. Do you know how many lives and families that have been in pain because you're trying to make enough money? Come on, Dad, this is so unfair. Hey, will you just so shut up? Shut up, Chibike, if you don't have anything reasonable to say. How dare you sit before me and you're talking about fairness? Life itself is not fair. And life will never, ever be fair. You need to understand that you need to make all the money that you can make. Poverty is not a good thing. That arena of poverty is a place where nobody should ever find himself. And any man who is already making money, any man who has already broken away from the fangs of poverty, must never try anything that will keep him there again. Dad, there is no justification for what you're doing. And the earlier you stop, the better for us. I just pray this will not affect my sister and I in one way or the other. Uh, do you know what, Sibika? I am going to pretend I never had this discussion with you. This is the first time you are raising this topic and let this be the last. I am a man who is making money. Don't advise me on how I make my money. Come here, my mirror, Garo. Adana, I need you to talk to your brother. I need you to sit him down and talk senses back into him because it is very obvious that that princess has ruined his senses and somebody has to talk the senses back into him and that person is you. Father, don't act like you don't know how all this is affecting all of us. Don't act like the princess is lying because you know she is not lying. Excuse me? And the earlier you try to solve this whole thing, the better it will be for all of us. I don't, I don't I need to understand something. No, no, what are you doing? What impression are you giving me? Is it that you are supporting the princess against your own father? Is that what is going on here? Father, you know I will never support the princess over you. I can't do that. But I cannot let you hurt my brother. No, I won't let you. He loves the princess. And we should respect that. What useless love are you telling me about? Listen, Adana, there are many women out there who can do practically anything possible. In fact, there are women who can kill to have your brother. Why didn't your brother fall in love with any of them? Why must it be the princess? And you sit before me and telling me about love. Listen, I want you to sit him down and tell him what I just told you. Tell him that it must not be the princess. You are going to do this, or I will have no other option than to conclude that indeed, I am childless. You know I love you, right? I know. But you have to understand why I did what I did. I understand, my love. But why did it take you so long to say something? Why did you tell me that this is going to be an issue all the while we stayed together? I didn't want to hurt you. And I was not expecting you to propose at the time you did. I'm sorry I hurt you. But I had to do what I had to do. Oh. 
always bear in mind that I can't stop loving you. And I know you love me. I believe we can still find a way around this. Um, don't do this. Chibuki, don't, don't do this. I missed you. I missed us. Can we just find a way around this and settle this whole thing? You know, there's somewhere I need to be now. Are you sending me away? I'm not. I... Chiki, we seriously need to stay away from each other. For now. You are being so unfair right now. I am struggling with a lot of emotions right now. I want you to understand that. Please go. I'll, I'll, I'll call you. You're going to call me, you said. Chimero, you and I know that you're not going to call me. I'll call you. I promise. You're welcome. Please sit. I invited you here because for now I cannot come to the palace until I'm sure your sister is no longer angry with me. I am here because of the way you sounded. What do you want from me? <laughs> Princess Udona. Is it because of that little drift we had the other day? Come on, I said I am sorry. So forgive me and forget about it. Let us move on. If you don't tell me why you called me here, yeah, I'll just leave. And hey, stop pretending like you care about anyone other than yourself. And stop being all nice to me. You can deceive my sister by that act of yours, but definitely not me. Well, I called you here because I care so much about your sister. You know, we had little misunderstanding the other time, and she has not been talking to me. So I want to know, does she have any issue? Like, is there a problem? I mean, I want to know, is there any way I can come in and help? Tell me. I will pretend like you care. And I'll also try my best to tolerate you because I know I might be needing you. But don't you ever mess with me. I'll be watching you closely. I know you more than you think. It's okay. But one thing I want you to know is that I am not a bad person. I care. Okay? And I will do anything within my power to make sure that the royal family is not affected negatively in any way. You have refused to see through my kindness. Fine with me. What do you want? I'm a little ready. Of course, I am getting all the information needed. <laughs> you do not have to worry. I have started speaking with her sister and she is giving me every information. Yes. Don't worry, I will give you the feedback soon. No, it's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you later. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, this is good. I mean, soon I will have no reason seeking anyone's validity. I mean, life is beautiful. <laughs> I love this. Huh? Anyway. I don't want my son to marry that fool who is parading herself as the princess of Omondri. She has turned my family against me. She is a bad influence on my son. 
And I want everything terminated. I, I want her to pay. There is nothing you can do to stop him. If his mind is made up. Mapongo the greatest. I want you to look. Look deeper into this matter. And you will see there is something you can do. I don't want that fool to end up with my son. I see love. And um, it is my firm instruction that you leave them alone. They've done nothing wrong to warrant you are interfering with their love affair. Hmm. Mapongo the greatest. I may not know a whole lot of things, but I know my son. I know my son inside and out. And I am in a position to confirm that that woman is not good for him. It is not for you to say, leave your son to decide that himself. Listen, the princess is not telling you the truth. You know she is my childhood friend. I know her more than anyone else. She's only using your father as a cover-up. How can you say a thing like that about your friend? She's my friend and I want the best for her. But listen, I will not support her when she is playing with your heart. She's obviously hurting you. And the worst part is that she does it like it does not matter at all. That is wrong. I will not support that. I trust Princess Chimera and I know she's telling me the truth. It's hard, but I believe we can still come back together. Come back with you? With the one who was cheating on you? The one that left you for another man? <laughs> come on, Chibiki. You can't be serious. She did not leave me because of another man. And I will appreciate it if you stop talking about her. <laughs> Something I saw with my own eyes. Is this what love has turned you into? Come on, you can do better than hey, this. Hey, 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 listen. What's that your name? Or or whatever you call yourself. I cannot have you insult me in my own house or talk down on my woman. Please leave my house. This minute. <clears throat> Fine, I'll leave. <clears throat> Fine, I'll leave. Just go. I hope you do not regret this someday. Can you imagine? I wonder how everyone will react when I tell them what I know. This will hurt Chibuke a lot, but I have no choice but to let the cat out of the bag. I can't say I'm 100% ready, but the earlier the better. I want to do it and move on. It's starting to weigh me down. Yes, see ya. Yeah. I am standing with you until all this is over. I mean it. Thank you. I know you were like God sent to me. See, listen, listen, you, 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 you forget to get this. I am also doing this for myself. I am doing it for myself and I can't wait for justice to prevail. You're right. Well, take care now. I have to run. Please be careful and take care of yourself too. Bye-bye. That this palace fits you well. <laughs> Thank you. I want to ask you something. 
Do you know when last Chibike visited the palace? Ma? I mean, the princess fiancé. When last did he visit? Like, has he been visiting lately? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to discuss such with a visitor. It might put me in trouble. Ah, ah. Don't you know me? Oh, God, no. In fact, I am a member of this family. What I am asking you now, I can equally get the answer from the queen or the princess. I'm only asking you because you're the first person I'm seeing since I came in here. Oh, okay, then. The princess will soon be with you. When you see her, you can ask her yourself. It's not in my position to answer such questions. Will you shut up that, you dirty mouth? Look at this girl. Come on to tell me when last Chibike visited the palace. You've already been logical about it. Will you get out of my presence? Get out! <laughs> Look at who we have here. Princess Machi. You look so beautiful today. <laughs> the princess is busy at the moment. When she is done with what she's doing, she'll join you. Okay, thank you. Um... <laughs> Stop harassing our maid. You are making her uncomfortable. If you need any clarification, you know the right person to ask. for you at the living room. I oh, know. No, I need her to get this before going to see her. I'm sis. You have to be careful about your friend. There's something unusual about her these days. Unusual? Why do you say that? She has changed and certainly not for good. Watch her closely. Okay. Can I go now? No. Stay with me. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My beautiful princess. Oh, Gummy, how are you? I am good. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I was busy. It's okay. I am used to it already. You know, these days you just keep me in the dark. You don't carry me along in anything you do. That's if I never knew you. Hmm. Look yes. at her. <laughs> you are one funny girl. You have the mouth to talk about being left behind. Is it because I decided to keep quiet over the last stunt you pulled? That's one. Two, before you begin pointing accusing fingers, I'd like you to ask yourself, are you worthy of being carried along? Looking out for my friend is not a crime. Besides, I did what I thought was the best at that time. Mm -hmm. And besides, I have apologized to you. You do not want to forgive me. Sweetheart. I forgave you a long time ago. Believe that. But don't you dare play the victim card on me because you are not the victim. 
It's okay. Mm. <laughs> I will try and live with whatever you bring to the table. If that is the price, I will pay for taking such action. Mm -hmm. You know I value our friendship so much. Mm -hmm. And I am ready to go all out for us. Mm -hmm. Anytime, any day. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Sounding so innocent. <laughs> <laughs> this is something. Stop it though. <laughs> because this, all of this is not you and I'm not buying it. Mm. Whatever happened to you giving it back to me the way I'm giving it to you, you know. Because this new you and new way of handling issues, it's not you and I'm not buying it one bit. Since you now have issues with everything I do, and I do not want to have issues with you. My princess, I just want us to be back as best friends. Right. I mean, Carry me along in everything you do. Girl, <laughs> you know me. I do not have a problem carrying you along when necessary. Mm -hmm. But my problem with you is that you have failed to understand that sometimes some things are meant to be kept private. Besides, it's not everything about you that's you divulge to me and besides it's not everything about you that you divulge to me and I am never bothered about it because I understand that everyone has a secret secrets mm -hmm. I thought we were supposed to have secrets only when we are married Is what right? secret could you probably have can you tell me about it? <laughs> that secret? It's none of your business. Oh. Mm. It's high time I minded my business, yeah. if that is the case. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, seriously, what exactly do you want from me? Nothing. I just want us to be the way we were before, as best friends. I mean, carry me along in things you do. Let me know your activities. I am your friend. Hmm. Okay. Tell me also, is there any other thing that you'd like to know? Hmm? Um, okay, um... Have you started talking with Chibi K again? Like, have you made up your mind to allow him to come back into your life or you're totally done with him? There you go. <laughs> you finally let it off your chest. Whoosh. That wasn't so hard, was it? Mm hmm. All of that rigmarole, and he finally landed at his board. See, I know you. Now check this out. When I'm ready to talk about it, you and everyone else will know about it. For now, let's just say that that is my little secret. I've done everything possible to make my father stop, but he refused. I have my own business that I started from scratch because I never wanted to have anything to do with my father's illegal way of making money. I don't know why I should be suffering for my father's sin. Are you confirming to me that what my daughter said about your father is true? Yes, my king. He has a factory in a remote village in China where they manufacture substandard drugs. Drugs that are still imported in this country and distributed outside the country as a normal drugs. I've advised him severally to stop, but he, he refused. This is unbelievable. How has he been getting away with all this? Honestly, my king, the system is really porous. 
The people in charge of checkmating all those cops can sell their souls for money. That's where the problem started. This is pure wickedness. I must do something about it. Please, my king, help me speak to the princess. None of this is my fault. I love the princess and I can't stop loving her. Don't worry, my son. Everything will be all right. Okay? Daddy, believe me when I say this. I have nothing against Jibuki. Absolutely nothing. It's just very unfortunate that Chief Omeka Flunanya is his father. My princess. Yes, Daddy. I have been keeping quiet all this while because I believe that you are old and wise enough to take care of your love affairs. But that does not in any way mean that you cannot take one or two advice from me. Daddy, you know I always come for advice when I need one. But right now there is something I am working on and until it manifests, I will not be needing any advice. My princess. Yes, Daddy. All we want is the best for you. And it's going to be a very sad thing what you make mistakes that you'll regret in the near future. I have to be sincere with you. I want you to know that it is very, very difficult to see the kind of love Chibike is having for you anywhere. So when you begin to behave this way, I sometimes you give me cause for concern. Is there something you're not telling me? Is it that you don't love this young man at all? What exactly is the problem? I love him. I love him a lot. You do? But... Oh, no, no, no birds. No birds. Listen. I will only advise you. But I cannot force you against your will. But whatever you do, I want you to know that do not take for granted what both of you share. I am going to call uh, Chief Omenka for questioning. But before then, I want you to know that you don't discard treasures. You keep them. Yes, Daddy. Uh, yes, Chief Omenka, you were saying something. Your Majesty, it is about my son. I am still surprised as to how or the reason he will go to this extent of trying to taint my image. All I ever did since I give birth to them is to try and provide for them as a good father. I've always taken care of them. I've always ignored or tolerated all their flaws and all their excesses. Because they are my children. But I am, I am shocked at this development that my own son will decide to tell a damaging lie about my personality. It is very shocking to me, my king. Chief Omenka, are you trying to deny that you have not been producing chokes in the form of drugs? In a factory in a distant place in China, is that what you are denying? Your Majesty, I am a man who holds integrity at a very high level. All I ever did is to provide for my people. I am a legitimate businessman who is making legitimate money simply to cut off our people. To answer my people whenever they call. Your Majesty, there is no factory in China that belongs to me. We have fake drugs are manufactured. Such a thing is not possible. They are all lies. They are all propaganda created by my enemies and the reason is to bring me down. Chief Omenka, the person we are talking about here is your son. Are you directly saying that your son is now your enemy? Your Majesty, you will live in an age where practically everything is possible. 
you never can tell what a young man will do, mainly when he believes that uh, he has been provoked. All this nonsense started the very day your daughter turned down his proposal. And out of anger, I told him to forget about your daughter. I am sorry, your majesty, but that's what I did. But that was out of anger. I told him to forget about your daughter and marry another woman and move on with his life as if nothing happened. Ever since I said that, he became a rebel. He became an enemy. And he decided finally to pay me back. And all he could think of is to tell a damaging lie about me to bring me down. That's it. Well, right now, I really don't know what to say. You know what, Chief Omenka? I think you can go. I will summon you again if the need arises. Thank you, my king. I, I appreciate at least calling me to hear from me. For, for you to actually hear my own side of the story. It shows that indeed you are a good king and I appreciate that. What, I, what is happening here is that I, I regret the untimely death of their mother. You see that noble woman I married who gave birth to them? Had it been she didn't die when she died, she would have raised them better to be responsible citizens of the community and not a, a negative children who will tell lies against their own father. Thank you. It's all right. It's okay. I'll be waiting for your call, like you said. And thank you one more time for calling me. You're welcome. Jimmy, how dare you? I'm asking you. Jimmy, how dare you? Why are you behaving as if you have arrived? Who do you think you are? Let me tell you something. I gave you life, and if you provoke me, I can take that life. Don't threaten me, father. I have not done anything wrong to you. You are very stupid to stand before me and call me father. When you have the cause to report me to the king. Because of who? Because of that stupid princess? You are reporting your father to the king? Are you mad or something? I'm sorry, dad. But well, you're not being fair to him. You can't just call his fiancée stupid in front of him. Adana, don't provoke me. By standing here making a case for this thing that is standing here. Who are you? No, 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 they, 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 they should sing your praise. You are now the one that is castigating your own father because of a woman? What do you know on it? Let me make it clear to you. You better prepare for the worst. Because this is just the beginning. I will make you pay for all the pains you've cost me. I will make you pay for all the damages you've cost in this country. You are a riff raff. Let me tell you something. Define your boundaries and restrict yourself to those boundaries. I know what you're planning. You are planning to push me to the wall. But let me tell you something. I am going to forget that you are my son. If you do that, I am going to kill you, and I swear to God, if I to kill you, Chibike, there will be no cops to be buried. Does it look like I'm scared of you? No, I am not. Don't forget you are my father, and a snake cannot give birth to something different from a snake. You are a stupid idiot to stand before me and refer to yourself as my son. You are not like me. You are very weak. You are a weakling. You are a fool. You are a woman rapper. And that is why you will descend to the level of castigating your family because of a woman. I know exactly what you're planning. You want to kill me. But let me tell you something, Shibike. I am going to kill you first. I swear to the God, I am going to kill you first. And now, Father, do you even want me to run away? Uh, is that what you want? What's going on now? You, you, you want to run away to which place? You want to run away to which place? Give me a you see this, your brother? He will be killed. And I am the person who will kill him. Dad, stop all this now. Dad, stop it. Who's all this? Chibike. Chibike, stop this now. Chibike, please. Please don't leave. Chibike, look at me. I am your only sister. Don't leave me alone in this house, please. You can join me if you want. As for me, my mind is made up. Chibike, stop. Yeah? 
I won't let you go anywhere. Adana. You are not leaving. I won't Adana, let you leave go. this bag. Leave this bag, Adana. Oh, what will happen? Do you want to beat me? Go ahead. You can go ahead and beat me. But, but I won't let you go anywhere. Chibike, please. Eh? There is still some hope left for us as family. As far as I'm concerned, there is no hope for anybody in this family. That greedy thief, that chief of Mekan Folonaya has destroyed everything. It's better I leave this house because if he do not kill me, I will kill him myself. Just let me go, in peace. Chibike, no one is killing anybody here. Eh? Please, don't leave me alone in this house. Eh? In fact, you're not going anywhere. Please, you're my strength. Don't go. Then I leave this bag. Father, I am not letting you. You're not going anywhere. Why do you keep doing this? Why don't you just let me go? Mapongo the greatest. This is very disrespectful. My own son now disrespects me. He almost left my house, if not for the sister. All because of that princess. Oh, this is unacceptable. What do you want me to do? Very simple. I want you to flush the memory of my son so that he will not be able to remember anything about that princess. Wipe his memory completely. It is not possible. I, I thought you said your cab guy is waiting for you outside here. I thought so too. I mean, I don't understand that man anymore. He He's acting strange. You know, I am starting to suspect he and Ogonne may be up to something. Because when Ogonne called me earlier, okay, okay. she was asking questions that had to do with the phone call I took while in his car. Oh, 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 yeah. that's not nice. That's not nice, that's not nice. No, it's Ooh. not. That's not nice. <laughs> but who can blame him? I'm pretty sure Ogonne would have offered him some money. Mm. Enough for him to resist anyways. Then that means you will start taking different cabs. Like you won't base on No, one. I won't I won't I won't deal with him anymore. I'll use different cabs from now on and I'll be more careful. Very careful, that's very important. Well I just pray that a woman um responds to us quickly then um we'll know what to do and we'll take it from there. That's just the only thing I'm looking forward to right now. I pray she helps us. 
Because most of them seem really scared. What do you expect they should be? As it? Well, it's okay. I have to run along now. I, I'm already running late. I, I wish your cab was here then so that we'll go at the same time. But it's okay. I have to go. No, it's fine. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have to go now. All right. I'll take you soon. <laughs> Bye. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. You too. You sent me an important message on WhatsApp. Who are you, please? What? I just want to know what you're still doing with Wabu Wani to the extent that you are now seen together in a hotel. Are you spying on me? Don't try to turn things around because I wouldn't want you to do that. I am not changing the topic. And what is obvious here is that you do not know me. Because if you know me like you claim to know me, you would know that even if I wanted to have an affair with another man. It would definitely not be your friend, Mwabu Mwane. Then answer me. What were you doing in a hotel with him? Answer me. I'm not answerable to you. Is that what you have to say to me? Wait, has it gotten to the extent that you no longer have respect or regard for me? Are you trying to prove to me that I've been wrong about you all the while? Is that it? You are entitled to your own opinion. Believe what you want to believe. I have told you all that you should know. Just extracted information from her. From who? Did of course. Your father, Chief Omin Kaflonaya, paid her one million naira to distract me. Can you imagine? Oh, wait, you're joking. You mean Ijo was sent by dad to distract you? What? You know when I told you, you thought I was making it up. Just look at what your father does. He don't even know her. He met her in the club. Can you imagine? Oh my God. I, I mean, what has come over that? Why is he behaving like this? Well, I don't know. What I know is that I've given her two million naira to leave me. She should go in peace. She did what? Why did you do that? You would have allowed me to teach her a lesson she will never forget. No, I mean no, 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 Adana. I won't allow you to reduce yourself to her level. She doesn't want it. Moreover, my peace of mind is worth more than two million naira. So she should take it and go. It's her credit. Where is she? I met her in the mini living room. You are now your brother's mouthpiece. You want to teach me manners and value. As if you're better than I am. You're not ashamed of yourself. I mean, just take a good look at you. People like you that make men think women don't have value. You should hide your face in shame. Shut up, Wu. Hide your face in shame. What do you know? You see that you cack for your power house. They travel abroad, they come back like in our backyard. I beg you. Wait. Oh. Now you're bringing out your true color. That's fine. It makes things more easier. You tout. I be tout. I know. I know the hide them. As long as I use what I get, collect what I want, it consign you. As I did like this, I feel sell my dignity for one million or two. All the people you know, where they carry dignity, they walk all around, they follow body. You help them. I be get out. You should be ashamed of yourself. You talk so cheap. You should hide your face in shame. 
Hmm. Ashamed of myself. As I did, I no get shame. The day where they share shame, I no collect. You don't suffer before. You don't see like two days, two, three days. You never see food job. Because you did your upper house, they do any here. With your pizza mouth, you can't put out your pizza mouth. They tell me, say, man has do one thing, value can't do one thing. No go face the princess where they scatter your papa house. Rubbish. Ozwai. Don't be mad at me for what I did. It's part of the hustle. And as you know, yeah. a baby's got to do what she's got to do to feed the people that are looking up to her. I understand. Of course, man must survive. But you're doing something that will have negative impact on you tomorrow. I came here to say hi. I came here to, to greet you because you are a good person. Leave my future. Face your own. Your father don't even know what he wants. Because if you do, you go y'all know say the lane why would y'all use the auntie ruin your life for you? Thanks for the money. Because if you like this, so y'all tear me one car. Part of the millions of citizens destroyed by the clueless politicians. I mean, what the hell is going on? If she doesn't want to see me, why don't she say so? She's attending to a visitor at the other part of the palace. She'll soon be here. For how long do I look jobless to her? She should at least accord me some respect if she's busy. Or come out and say so. Please don't be angry. I will go get her. talking about what do you mean by she is coming for how long do you expect me to sit down here and wait for her i mean what sort of rubbish is that what, uh, what the hell is going on i don't get it why the noise she did not book an appointment but the princess has agreed to see her after she's done with the visitors from abuja but she's just been impatient you are very stupid for saying that what do you mean by I'm being impatient? I have been sitting down here for the past 30 minutes. And you stand here and call it impatient? Really? Really? Like seriously? Please, ma, you do not raise your voice on our mates. We don't do that here. If that is how you treat your mates, don't try it here. Else we'll throw you out. Are you being serious with me right now? Are you for real? I don't know what you're saying. You came here with no appointment, no power notice, and you expect the princess to leave everything she's doing and attend to you? That is not done. It's either you wait or you leave. Remember, we do not tolerate noise here. Excuse me. I don't blame all of you. I don't blame any of you. It's my brother that I bring. No, I don't blame you guys. Can you imagine? for so long. I was in the middle of something so important, I couldn't get out of it as quickly as I could. But now I'm here. How are you? Uh, I am not here for pleasantries. Either am I here for friendly visits. I heard everything you said about my father and I wanted to know that I am not cool with it. Yes. I mean, I don't know where you're dragging all these things to. But if you succeed in tearing my family apart, I won't be cool with it. Not at all. I don't know. I don't have any issue with you. And I don't intend to have any issue with you. 
But coming to my house to threaten me is highly unacceptable. The moment you insulted my family, the very moment you insulted my father, you started having issues with me. I respected you so much as my brother's girlfriend. But I won't watch you tear my family apart. No, I won't let you. I am not tearing your family apart. In fact, if telling your father to quit his wicked acts and quit destroying the lives of young women is tearing your family apart, so be it. You can do that without involving my brother. He loves you, but it's obvious you don't even deserve the love. Because if you love him, you will have accepted him the way he is. I'm not trying to drag my father or bring my father into this. Which are you here for exactly? Are you here to tell me that I don't love your brother? Or are you here to tell me to leave your father alone? I am here to tell you to leave my father alone. He has done nothing to you. Stop dragging him around. If you succeed in tearing my family apart, you wouldn't like what I will do. No, you wouldn't like it. How could you? How could you, Adana? How could you confront the princess for something that is clearly not her fault? Please, please. Please, please. Because it's actually your fault. How could you allow that simple girl to come into this house and tear us apart? How dare you? She's not the problem here. Princess Chimere is not the problem here. It's not her fault that dad chose the wrong way. She's only doing the right thing by pointing it out. Let her swear that she has never committed any crime. Let her swear! Oh, her father the king, how did he acquire the throne? Or is it because she managed to find our father's dirty laundry? She now wants to crucify him. No, I won't let her! I don't know who did this to you. No, tell me who. Has father finally succeeded in brainwashing you that you now argue as one without conscience? No one has brainwashed me. And I still have my conscience intact. I just realized that I need to fight for what is mine and not the other way around. Moreover, someone had to do something necessary to make an end meet. Yes, no one, holy bass. This is unbelievable. I don't know. Please stop all this, eh? Stop all this. It's just you and the princess love. Ah, stop it. She had just one house. Just one house. Okay. okay, it's all right. It's fine. My brother, who has never shouted at me, nearly hit me today because of that stupid princess. For where? I don't care right now. I am going to support my father. And if that princess dared to insult my father again, I will teach her a lesson. My brother will be all right. I mean, I just thought about something now. What if my father has sat behind and did nothing? I might be licking men's ass trying to get money from them. I am not going to turn my back on my father because he's, he just did everything to give me a better life. I will support him. I will support my father. Mm. 
Udonaya, I have respected you enough. I have been patient enough even with the way you speak to me. I am your younger sister, but that does not make me a fool. Respect is reciprocal. Stop underrating me. If you want me to rate him, I start behaving like a sensible person. Stop following Chimera around like a puppy who needs to suckle. Start telling her the truth and stop pretending to like everything she does. Udonaya, why are you acting like your life is perfect? Why do you like mending in other people's affairs? when you clearly cannot put yours together. Yes, Chimere has a life to live and you cannot live it for her. Maybe you should start by getting yourself a boyfriend. Maybe you should try and sustain a relationship. Until then, I have nothing to say to you. Are you insulting me? Mati, did you just insult me? Hey, listen, I will pretend I did not hear all you just said. And I will warn you for the last time. Anytime Chibuike or his sister visits this palace, you must accord them with some respect. Don't you ever lie to them that the princess is not around. I won't warn you again. I will not. What is wrong with her? Why is he, Why is she acting as if if Chimere does not get married to Chibike, she will cease to breathe? Why? Princess Chimere, hmm? we need to talk. What is it? I have been waiting patiently since Chibika's proposal. And I have given you more time than you need. I want to know what your plan is. Is that why you're looking worked up? Do not change this topic. You better start talking. I don't know what to say. What is your plan with Chibike? His father cleared his name. And I have been waiting to hear that both of you are together and about to get married. But I have not heard anything. So I want to hear it from you. When are we fixing the date? Mom, there will be no fixing of date yet. That man lied to the king of this land and has since continued in his evil ways. I wonder, I truly wonder if he thinks that I will sit back, fold my hands and watch things slide because I won't. I will make sure the whole world gets to know him <laughs> for which will is. Princess Chimere. Mom. Where are you getting all these your findings? Let me remind you, if it happens to be a false accusation, <laughs> You know what will happen. And you know me, mom. Not only are you my mother, you truly know me. And because you know me, you know I never embark on future adventures. Whatever it is that I pursue, I pursue to the fullest, especially things that I am very sure of. That said, Mom, allow me to prove my case. If I go down, 
So be it. Princess Jamie, I will advise you to stop all these things you are doing. You are a woman for crying out loud. And no man would like to marry a woman like you. Here we go. For your information, prepare your mind because you must marry Chibike. to help me speak to your wife. I thought we were done with the entire Chibuike situation. Why is she still disturbing my life with it? Ah, princess, I will be very disappointed if you're telling me you still don't know your mother. Daddy, she is threatening me and I am not comfortable with that. How do you mean? She insists I must marry Chibuike. As if she's the one going to live in that family. Ignore your mother. She's only trying to scare you. Come on. Daddy, can you please help me speak to her? If I must marry Chibuki, it has to be my decision. Not hers or anybody else's. That's very true. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you, Dad. She is an adult and has the right to make a choice. I keep telling you not to force your choice down her throat. If anything bad happens, you will not be there. She will be the one to be everything. Oh, you are now raising your voice at me because of Chimere. Because I was only trying to guide her through the right path. I have now committed a huge crime. Oh, why? Well, I, I don't mean to raise my voice. But we've discussed this over and over again. I've always told you to allow them make their choice. I know as a good mother you want the best for them. But this certainly is not the way to go about it. Don't you understand? You should be happy now, right? The king and the queen are now exchanging words because of you. You're the reason they are fighting each other. I hope you've achieved your aim. Mom and dad are what? Oh, please don't act like you care because you don't. Everyone here is fighting to make sure you get the best. So you get married into a wealthy and influential family. But what did you do? You made sure you destroyed all our efforts. And now you want to tear this family apart. You watch your tongue, young woman. None of this it's my fault. I'm not enjoying this, and I never intended to have a life so complicated. So don't you ever blame me, you hear that? I will keep on blaming you until you redress your steps. Stop being ungrateful and use your senses. That was to reset your brains. Just because I keep quiet on you when you behave silly like this does not mean I will take disrespect from you. I'm not your mate. Get out. Now. I am giving you audience this night for reasons best known to me. Reasons I cannot even share with anyone. So whatever you want to say, be brief and fast because I need to go and freshen up. Mom, 
I'm sorry you argued with dad tonight. I never meant for any of it to happen. Mom? I... I, I told him you threatened me because of an outsider. How was I to know it would bring a disagreement between you two? How will you know? You obviously don't care about anyone except yourself. No. You don't even care to know if anyone gets hurt in the process of whatever you're doing. No. Biko, please. Stay on your own before you go and report me to the central deity of Umundra Kingdom. Biko! Mom! Did you? So, all this heat, because I am pursuing my conviction as a woman, in line with the training you gave me as a child? Don't get this whole thing twisted. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm selfish. They think I'm enjoying all that is going on. And I wonder why, how? I'm not enjoying this. And again, it's my life. Why won't I be allowed to live my life the way I want? Why, why would anybody want to meddle with my life? Why? Sis, you are not a selfish person. I know you too well. Please don't dwell so much on this, please. I know it's only mom that can make you feel this way, right? You wanted to say something. I'm ready to hear it now. Daddy, all that is happening now between Chief Omega Fulunaya's son and I should not bring problems between you and my mother, the Queen. I don't want to be the reason you two have problems. And who said your mother and I are having problems? Are you not? Not at all. We are not having an issue. I only had to tell her to stop meddling in your affairs, that's all. Maybe I should just fix this so that everything can go back to normal, you know, the way it used to be. Do not go out of your way for any reason. Because when things get bad, 
he would be the only one to face the heat. That's right. That is absolutely right. Thank you, Dad. You're so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder, can any woman have a dad like you? My princess, now I am flattered. What is that supposed to mean? Are you serious? This is unbelievable. No, no, don't say that again. All right, I'll get back to you. From the information I'm gathering, the princess may not be too far from the truth. Though I don't have that concrete evidence against Chief Omenka that will completely nail him, but we cannot allow this atrocity to continue on this land. Most importantly, I cannot allow my daughter to be married into a family with such abominable greed. Never. My lord, are you sure that Chimere is not influencing your judgment? Chiefy Omeka Flonanya doesn't look like a man that can commit such an abominable act. No, not with his connections. Not even with the name he has taken years to build. Your Highness, let us treat with caution. Of course. Before we spoil things. Of course, I'm being careful. And I cannot call that man out if I don't have enough evidence already. Believe you me. With what I have gathered, that man is not exactly what he portrays himself to be. Believe me. Mom. Mom, what is it again? Huh? When it comes to things concerning Chimera, you just throw caution to the wind and keep siding her. That girl is spoiled. And you're the one that spoiled her. Mom, what happened again? Is it not your father? He's investigating Chief Omen Kaflenanya, throwing away his money and time simply because of that spoiled sister of yours. Look, Mom, don't stress yourself. Very soon, he will find out that Chimere's favorite daughter has been lying all along. Chief, that everyone in this community respects for his uprightness, oh. his philanthropic nature, and, and his kindness. There's no way Chief can commit such an abominable act. It's not possible. I, 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 just, I just hope they, they, they don't spoil the good relationship we have with that family. I will never allow that to happen. I must do something about it. I cannot allow Chief to spoil the relationship we have with Chief. Uh, yes, listen to me. Everything remains on hold until you hear from me. Yes. Princess Odona. Not right now, okay? I am not in the mood for this kind of attitude you're displaying right now. As usual, Dad. You don't care about anyone else but your precious Princess Chimere. I know if it were to be Chimere standing in front of you in this mood, you would throw away everything just to know what is wrong with her. How can you say a thing like that? You know that is not true. I love all of you equally and you know it. I don't think so, Dad. If not, why are you allowing Chimere to spoil the good relationship we have with Chivomeka Flunaya and you see absolutely nothing wrong about it? Princess Udona. There is something I want you to know. Believe me when I say that I love you all equally. And I will do exactly the same thing that I'm doing for Chimere if the table was turned. 
your sister is fighting for something that is right. The least we can do for her right now is to stand by her, support her with everything necessary. How are you sure she's fighting for something? What if she's just looking for an excuse not to marry Chibuiki? I believe your sister. You should believe her too. Seriously, it's not what you think, okay? I love all of you equally. I understand that you do not want to marry Chibike. But his awful friendship is not harmful. I mean, you both have known each other for a while now. Stop sending him away. There's something you people have failed to understand. Which is what exactly? Chibike and I cannot just be friends. It's not possible. We cannot be together as friends without our emotions playing at us. We are lovers. Lovers who cannot just be friends. But you cannot be enemies too. Stop sending him away for something that is not his fault. At least a little concern will go a long way. Well, I showed concern. I was calling him, but he didn't pick my calls. Then go to his house or something. Maybe he's busy. Moreover, he has been the one trying to reach you, but you made it impossible for him. Don't make it look so bad. I am only living in my conviction. Doing that without considering the interests of others. Sister Chimiri is selfishness to me. This is how you you're here. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm watching my choice over. How was your day? Fine. Just that a lot on my mind. A lot is going on in my head right now. I can understand. You have to find time and rest to really need it. I know. I'll be in the sit at the backyard. If there is something nice to eat, please, I'd like to have a bite. If you're hungry, like you just said, serve yourself, because I am not standing up from here. Are you for real? I should go to the kitchen and cook myself. What are you doing here? Adana, I have not come to make troubles with you. I only want to see your brother. And what makes you think that my brother would like to see you? I just want to see him. Allow me to see him. Don't do it for me. Do it for your brother. I'll do it for my brother. You know your way around the house. He's at the set out behind the house. You can see him there. the same person I paid off. Can you pay me off? Why do you keep behaving like a monk? Now oh, listen to me. EJ or whatever you call yourself, I want you to live here this minute. Why do you keep behaving like a monk? <laughs> Honestly, it's not what you think. 
What happened with the fact that it's not really what happened? Is that so? Chibike, you seriously don't owe me any form of explanation. Because I do not care what you do with your life. Excuse me. I know you came here for a reason and you can't just sleep like that. But you are busy, aren't you? And I do not intend to become any form of distraction to you. Go back to your girlfriend. She's I waiting for swear, you. My love, I swear on my life, she's not my girlfriend. I only asked my sister to serve me something to eat. I was waiting patiently for the food before she entered. She started throwing herself at me. I was only trying to stop her before you entered. Just hear me out. Are you done? What do you mean by done? I'm only trying to explain Chibi, things to you. Chibi, just... Don't do that. Like I said before, you don't owe me any form of explanation, just like I owe you nothing. I know what I saw. Hey, I'm leaving. Believe me, it's, day. It's, it's not what you think. Ah, hey, brother. The food is served. The same food you refused to serve me. I'm fine. Nothing. Tell me what happened. Since you came back from Chibike's place, you've been very moody. How did you know that? Really? Have you forgotten that I was the one who advised you to go there? When you came back from his place, you were very moody. You couldn't even hide your feelings. So I noticed. Tell me, what is it? Yes, I was at Chibike's house. I saw Chibike and a lady romancing in his house. What? That is not true. I'm still in shock. This is unbelievable. To think that I envied you both. Everything will be alright. Everything will be alright. How? How can everything be alright when I feel so insulted? How can Chibike do that to me? Didn't he promise to stand by me through all things? I am not supporting him for what he did. But let's be sincere here. You're my sister, I will tell you the truth. You caused it. He's been all over you. He's been trying to talk to you, but you never allowed him into your life. Maybe he decided to move on. If that is the case, then he moved on too fast. Especially considering the fact that he knows the, the real reason behind my actions. He should have given me some time to prove my case. It's true. It's okay. Yeah? Everything will be alright. I shall up The princess caught my son red-handed, kissing another woman in my house. In fact, they were romantically engaged when she bashed in on them. You know what that means? Sure. That very incident has made your job easier. Therefore, I don't want stories anymore. Chief, you do not have to worry. This time around, I must deliver. I am giving you one week. One week. Don't worry yourself. I must deliver this time. I will give you all the information that you want. So just relax. <laughs> Look at me. 
one week. You know, it's nice working here. Nice working for you. The money back chief. Chief, chief. Money back. <laughs> Don't worry. This time around, I must deliver. It's time to let the whole world know who Chief Omenka Fulunanya really is. The way everything is going, I cannot continue with it. I'm almost losing my mind. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. I've lost so much on account of this. I lost the love of my life and I'm likely to lose more. I'm ready. I'm very sure you and Chibiki will get back together when all this is over. I feel the same way and I'm sure. Not after I caught him with another woman. Are you serious? So it's gotten to the point where you come to see me without the basic courtesy of letting me know that you're coming. Well, I know you will be with Mwabu one day. That is why I decided to weep. Thank God it paid off. What exactly are you trying to say? It is the rumor flying around town that you are dating Wabuwane. I actually heard you left Chibike for him. I see. You have a problem with that? Wait. So you don't even care? With all of these I just told you. Oh, okay. So you actually left Chibike for Mwabongwani, right? How is that your business? Um, you're acting like you're not bothered. Even for the fact that Chibike now has a girlfriend he wants to marry. Who told you that? It's one of the rumors flying around town. In fact, I heard that he has been showing off the girl to everyone, as his wife to be. Good for him. He wanted to get married. Now he's about to get married. How, are you trying to tell me that you are okay with Chibike getting married to another woman? Because I know how much you loved him. I mean, do not even tell me you are okay with it because I know you are not. Oh. Mm -hmm. You are becoming something. This doesn't make sense. Why are you here really? Because you have not said anything that makes sense. Um, <laughs> you know, I came to tell you the latest happenings in town because I know that here in the palace, you hardly hear anything. Well, thank you for telling me all of that. Now, is there anything else? Perhaps something reasonable that you'd like to share? Um, Will you attend Chibike's wedding? Mm -hmm. You are so pathetic. Believe me, I don't have anything to do with her. I swear. She's a girl my father has been trying to impose on me. She was paid for this. And she has been trying everything possible to seduce me. I don't love her. You're the one I love. 
please try and understand me. Is there a point to all that you just said? Why are you telling me all this? I made it clear that what you do with your life is your business, Chibuiki. Are you, are you trying to tell me that you don't care anymore? Did you even care? Was it all a facade? Because everything seems is not just about my father. There is more to this. What did you just say? Did you just say that to me? Excuse me. Do you even know your father? Go to your father, Chubike. Ask him some very important questions, you hear me? It's a shame you live under the same roof with that man and you don't know anything about him. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you insinuating? I don't understand. Ask your father to tell you about his inner self. He should tell you all of that which he never wanted your mother to know about, all that your sister don't know about and you don't know about. And stay away from me. And what do you mean by that? Young man, I have given you all the information you need to aid you. Goodbye. What is... Hello? My father. Well, I, I think I have like 50 containers of that in my warehouse. And uh, that quantity can serve the region for the next three months based on our business permutations. Uh, I am so certain that uh, before that quantity goes down, I will bring him another one. I'm so sure of that. Uh, I will call you back. What are you hiding? What is that thing you never wanted us to know about you? What, what is it again this time? I mean, what are you talking about? What is that secret you're hiding from us? I want to know everything else I'll bring down to the roof of this house. Hey, shut up, man. Shut up, idiot. You bring down which roof? You see your life? You know what I told you, you told you this time around? Why are you parading yourself as my son, whereas you are just a fool? Now you are acting based on whatever one useless girl has told you. You are acting on that without any verification, and you are calling yourself my son. You can say whatever thing you want to say, but let me tell you, your secret is no longer a secret. And very soon, Nemesis will catch up with you. I promise, Nemesis will catch up with you, evil man. Why will I have a woman in the body of a man as a son? Kill the believer. Oh, this whole thing is driving me crazy. I wonder what is it, and she has refused to tell me about it. She was obviously blabbing. I mean, I wonder why you allow that small girl to control you like this. She will just come to you and tell you something, and you just start acting without finding. What is wrong with you? Well, she cannot start saying what she's not sure of. Then let her give you the full details. Let her provide it. Yes. The chief mother that I know cannot say anything without giving full details. So if she is not saying anything in full, it's because she is not sure. Why did you even call her? I thought you said you guys are done. Wait a minute. Are you trying to confirm my suspicion? What suspicion were you talking about? That you sent Princess G Mary to my room the other day, knowing full well that TJ was there. I mean, I thought you guys were actually done. I didn't know you were just making notes. So I don't know you were the one that did this to me. You, you were the one that snitched on me. To be clear, I did not do anything. He just said that that promised to pay her double of what you gave her. So. You see that one? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I never believed you could do a thing like this to me. Just pray hard that Princess Chime and I returns back together. If not, you see this house. You will not see me. Father will not see me and I mean it. Ogone, I paid you well for you to do your job well. I even went to the extra mile of providing you additional assistance to enable you to do your job. 
Why is it that you did nothing? Why is my son still fighting me on the account of that stupid princess? What does she know about me? See, Chief, honestly, I don't know what else to do. I have done everything possible to make sure that she does not accept your son back. And I'm sure she does not want your son. It is that your son, Chief BK, that has been following her up and that carrying everything on his head and he does not shut even up, want... Shut up. You have until the end of next week to do your job. If by the end of next week you have not done what I paid you for, I don't want to say anything. Love of money and affluence have landed do you. What will I do? Will I come out of this alive? Will I? this matter one more time and you will discover there is something you can do. You cannot continue telling me that there is nothing that could be done and that useless girl is out there doing a whole lot of things to destroy the name I labored for so many years building. There is something you can do to stop this and I want you to do it urgently. I have always asked you to be very careful. There are people you cannot hurt. And the princess is one of those you cannot hurt. Unless you want to die. I don't understand what you mean by die. I have not asked you to kill her. I just want her to stop what she is doing to destroy my name. The name that I have built over the years. That is what I want. I don't want to hurt her. Let her stop digging my grave right before my face. That is what I want you to do for me, Mapungo, the greatest. There is nothing I can do for you right now. Leave them alone. There are some people you will kill and nothing will happen. And there are some you can do as little as hot. And the whole world goes up in flame. Princess Yaozo. Kidonya Princess. I am not here to drink. Tell me why you called me. I have somewhere important to be. <sighs> okay. I am sorry about the other day. You know your sister is my best friend. And I want the best for her. Pogone. Are you not tired of this particular tactic? Please save me the same one and go straight to the point. 
Ate, I am worried about your sister. I mean, I don't even know her anymore. The other day she mentioned something she knows about Chief Omeka Fulunanya. Something that could bring him down. I tried as much as possible to make her open up. She refused to tell me. But do you know why she would want to bring down this awesome family? I'm trying to find out why you called me here. Because nothing you've said interests me. So if um, you have nothing reasonable to say, I'll just leave. See, I, um, you, you, uh, look, I was just trying to let you... I'm, Hey, this is not as easy as I thought. How will I give Chief the information he needs from me? Hey, Ogonye, you are in trouble. Serious trouble. I called us here so we can all speak our minds as one big happy family. If you have anything you feel someone is not doing right, this is the time to say it. And if you think that there is something going wrong somewhere, this is the time to point it out. But first of all, I want to start with myself. I am saying that I am very sorry. I am apologizing for the misunderstanding that has been going on in this family for so long now. I want to be very sincere with all of you that as my children, I love all of you equally and I prioritize your happiness above everything else. Well, I equally want to apologize to anyone in this room that feels offended or affected by my recent decision. I'm not a selfish person and I never intended to come off as selfish. All I'm doing, I'm doing for humanity's sake. I have a few things to point out. First, I want Chimere to tell us a relationship between herself and Wabuwane. And she should also tell us why she let Chibike on, knowing full well she was not going to marry him. Well, don't know, what is wrong with you? Will you shut up, Machi? We all deserve to know the truth. Because I don't want people to begin to see my girls as people who reject suitors. I don't want suitors to start running away from my household. Exactly. Listen, I, I, I thought we have gone past this. We just have to move on as a family. Let us go back to the way we were before all this saga. That is why we are here. Father, we can't move on. We can't. When the issue that scattered everything is not yet solved. Exactly. Please tell Timmy to answer me. Listen young girl this is my life i choose how to mess it up and how to clean it up i am not answerable to you and as such you have no right to question me and listen to this too the earlier you start minding your business the better for you my king can you hear your daughter talk? Can you imagine the type of language she's speaking? Mom, Sister Chimere has said nothing wrong. Udonna should learn how to respect her elders. And en en enough, all of you, enough. If we cannot act like the adults that we are and move on with life, then fine. Now, when you're all tired of all these quarrels, let me know. Mom, 
You can't let Chimere spoil everything for us. I really want to be Chief Omega Fulunaya's in-law. I want that strong relationship with Chief. And there's no way I'm letting Princess Chimere spoil that for me. My dear, I am really tired. I have done everything I can. But your sister is very stubborn. How about paying one by one nail off so that you will let the princess rest? No. You cannot pay that kind of man off. He will not even agree to accept anything to leave the bag. Because he has already secured the bag and he cannot easily back down. Mom, every man has a price. Just try. Or better still we threaten him. Let's just do something to him. Hello. Who is there? Wow. To what do I owe this honor of having the Queen of my land pay me a visit? I'm so honored. What a nice place you have here. Oh, thank you very much, man. Thank you all. Uh, please, sit. I am not here to sit. I am here to give you an advice that will be good for you. Stay away from the princess. I don't know what you feel you're doing with the princess, but whatever it is, my dear, it will not work. She already has someone and she does not need distractions. I don't know what you told her or what you have been feeding her with. That made her go as far as rejecting her fiance's proposal. But whatever it is, I assure you, it will not last. With all due respect, ma'am, I will not have you come into my house and talk to me with such disrespect. If I need any advice, if at all I need any, I know where to go to. I will go to my mother. And so I want to tag this your visit as disrespectful and rude. Listen, young man. Stay away from my daughter. You might not have this privilege next time. So you asked your boyfriend to insult me? How can you bring such a low life, such a stupid boy into your life? That boy that has no manners. Oh my God. Mom, please tell me you did not visit Mwabwane. Mom, you why? Mom, why, Mom? Why would you do that? Why? Why can't you trust me? Mom, why do you go belittle yourself before people that respect you so much? Why should I trust you? When all your life has been so mysterious. I'm mysterious. Why should I trust you? When you don't even share things with me. Oh, I am your mother, and you ought to share things with me. Tell me. Why did you choose that stupid idiot? That nobody to so somebody like Chibike that came from a very good background. Why? Nice background. You mean rich background. Mommy, this is wrong on every level. You wonder why I don't share things with you? It's because of this. This kind of behavior, mom. If you're not blowing minor issues out of proportion, you are coming up with preposterous assumptions and then you suck the entire phone out of things that are even meant to be fun. Yet you still wonder why I don't share things with you. You want me to believe everything you say just like your father does? You want me to believe that your frequent visit to Mwabuwane's house is just on a friendly note? No, you cannot fool me. I am not an idiot. 
I will not believe it. Now, listen and listen good. Stay away from that idiot. I will not say this again. Do you hear me? Do I make myself clear? Rubbish. This is embarrassing. This is it's, it's so embarrassing. You shouldn't. Wagwane, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, and you? I wish I can say the same. Um, listen, I learned my mother visited you. And I am so, so sorry. Yeah, yeah, she came. It's not a big deal anyway. I actually wanted to call you. But um, uh, actually, I spoke with one of the girls and she promised to come tomorrow. So I don't know if you have time tomorrow so you can come around. Sure, why not? Okay, then. It's okay. See you when I see you, okay? Take care now. Wait, you are joking, right? I am very serious. I am done with the relationship. No matter how hard I try, she will still see me with the same eyes. But don't get me wrong. I still love her. And I can't stop loving her. But that doesn't mean I will beg for her love. <sighs> That's my brother speaking. I'm sure Dad will be so happy to hear this news. I mean... You should not allow any woman to treat you like trash. You are a special citizen of Umayyad Kingdom. Yes, and everyone should respect that. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. And Dad will be so happy to hear this. And I'm sure he will even buy you an SUV. Can you please stop bringing Dad into this? I ended this relationship because of my sanity and not because of Dad. What Princess Chimbere said about Dad is true. And we should not ignore that. So? Like he's the only one committing crime in this country. So because other people commit crime, we all should go into crime. Are we going to survive if everybody goes into crime in this country? Good morning, my princess. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. It's quite unlike you not to have showered by now. That's right, I. 
I have a lot weighing me down. But uh, I'll get to all of that soon. Okay. Uh, the king and the queen request your presence in the main living room, my princess. Oh. T tell them I'll, I'll join them as soon as I... As soon as I, I'm ready to come out. And tell, tell the guys to wash my car. I'll be going out to consider it done. You're sounding as if you're tired of this job. You wake up each morning complaining. You are comfortable with this job because you're a woman. There is no man who will be comfortable with this now work. Only the greedy ones. Ebuka, your salary is 40,000 naira every month. There are so many civil servants who do not receive that kind of money. In your mind, 40,000 naira is enough to make me a man, right? To fend for everything, like. To cut off for everybody around me, 40,000 naira. If you would listen to me, Ibuka, learn to manage. You have free food and accommodation. Learn to manage. You can save and become somebody in life. You know. Let me tell you something. This job is not favoring me. I'm looking for an opportunity. And once I get one, I'm leaving. Ibuka. You get me right. Well, the reason I kept you all in the dark is because I needed to get all the facts right before voicing out what I know. I know that Mom and Udonna think I rejected Chibwike because of Mwabwane. But that's not true. Please, can you just talk faster? Yeah? Just go straight to the point. I, I don't want all this rigmarole. rolling. Go straight. I don't want it now. Pico. Can you please let her talk? Please. I'm listening. Thank you, Dad. While I dated Chibuike, I visited him one fateful day. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Shibara. How are you today? Very fine, thank you. I'm sure you are here to see Shibika, right? Yes, I am. Is that where you are here? Well, I already told one of your maids to inform him that I'm here. Oh, that's good. Make yourself comfortable and I, I believe he will soon be here. Thank you. You look so good. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> hey, baby. I'm leaving right now. I don't think I, I need to wait any longer. Why are you not here? Um, Inem? Inem, hi. Hi, princess. Hi. What are you doing here? Listen, I don't know why you came out. You're supposed to remain in there. What if my son is there? He's not supposed to see you. you. Just go back there and wait. I'm going to give you what you want. I don't want anything. I just want to leave. I had an emergency call. Listen, listen, listen. My son is not supposed to know anything about this. I'm sorry that you saw this. But as a, as a big girl, I expect you to keep this to yourself. Don't mention a word of it to my son. Am I understood? Thank you. Good girl. He was over here. After that day, I began investigations and my findings revealed that Mwambuwane's late father 
was Chief's best friend. I dug deeper into the story and Muab one day confided in me that Chief wanted to initiate his father into their cult. When their cult made a proposition that didn't go down well with his father, they killed him. I didn't hear that. Yes, you did. Wait. This is a weighty allegation. Of course you know the implications if this turns out not to be true. How are you sure about this? Daddy, I am very sure. I have even gotten some of the women to testify and they are willing to testify. This is an open secret. It's just that people are scared to voice out for fear of being killed. Hey! This is unbelievable. Tell you Chief Omen Kafun Hey! This visit of yours is a surprise. I hope all is well. All is not well, my princess. I escaped danger, peak danger yesterday. As it stands now, I have given my life to God, totally. Because if not for God, I wouldn't have been able to reach my friend who asked me where I was. I told her I was in Chief's place. She told me to run away from my dear life. <laughs> what are you talking about? My princess, I hope Chief has not slept with you yet. Excuse you? What kind of talk is that? I was only there to see his son, not him. And why would you insinuate that? I'm sorry, Ma. But listen, girls on the streets just found out that anyone that sleeps with Chief becomes very useless. Very useless. Why do you think I ran away? I left his house without sleeping with him or even getting a dime from him. You need to be careful the way you go there. Please. I'm still confused. What are you talking about? My princess, mm -hmm. things start happening like any girl she sleeps with. He gives her plenty money. Plenty money. But at the end of the day, the money will be very useless because she wouldn't be able to use it to do anything good for herself. Now, girls started asking questions, seeking answers. They were told that Chief is a cultist and he's responsible for every girl who became very useless. Do you realize the gravity of this allegation? My princess, I'm not talking it in. I did not say anything. But for the sake of old times, that's why I came to tell you all this. So you will make findings, ask questions, put one or two together, you know. What are you doing here? Are you not tired of your witch hunt? Why don't you leave my family alone? You are no longer welcomed in this house. Don't you get it? I'm here to see Chibuike. I need 
to see Chibuike. But he does not want to see you. After today, I promise never to show my face around here. But what I have to tell him is important. If it's important, like you just said, why don't you call him on the phone? Or better still, text him. I mean, must you show your face around here? This house has been peaceful for a while. Why don't you stay away for good? I have tried calling him, but he won't take my calls. Now my brother is beginning to act like the son of his father. I will go and call him. Knowing full well, he no longer have influence on him. Here to see you, That's about the only reason I keep showing up in your house. Your house where I forced to face your horrifying face. I can see you have no fear. So after everything you did, you still have the guts to come to my house. Not well. Like I said, I'm only here to see your son. And don't you, for one second, get the idea that I am scared of you because you know what? I'm not afraid of you. How dare you? You are in my house and you have the fortitude to talk to me in this language. Do you know the caliber of man you are standing in his face? 100% I know who you are. I know who you are. Not only are you an occultic man, you also sleep with women and automatically they become useless on top of that. Hey, shut up! Shut up before I shut that lousy mouth of yours. What did I hear you say? Just ignore her, okay? Ignore her. Chimere, what did I just hear you say? Actually, I was already on my way out. When you are ready to talk, call me. So, so, so this is true. So, all this is actually true. When I heard about it, I thought maybe it's just one of those rumors. So it's true. Listen, I don't know. You see that thing that I just left here now? Ignore her. She is an enemy who has been doing everything possible to destroy this family. Don't play into her hands. Ignore her. Adam, please tell me what's going on.
I cannot believe you can do something like this. So we've been living in a house built with blood money. You knew all these things and your conscience led you. Don't make me feel like I never knew you. When I heard something about my own father, my only parent, my pillar, I, I just... I just didn't believe it. How do you expect me to believe that about my own father? How? Well, at least you should have told me. Because I would do the same if you were in my shoes. You might be strong to believe that of your own father. But I'm not strong. When I heard about it, I thought myself is a lie. I, I said it's just a mere rumor. It's just a gossip. And I said I'm not going to believe it. That father is not like that. So how do you expect me to tell you something that I myself don't even believe in? How? Finished. I am finished. I'm finished. How will people look at us? How are we supposed to cope with such stigma? I wonder how many people that knows about this. Everybody is aware of it. But they won't say anything. I wonder how you have no head about it. This is unbelievable. I, I can't wait for Princess Donaya to come back from wherever she went to. She needs to hear this. I, I want to see what she has to say this time around. Huh? Don't blame her. Chief did his best in making everyone believe he's a saint. Hi! Eh? Eh? What about him, Chibiki? When are you going to tell him about it? He already knows. Hi! Oh, Chibiki. I just pity him, eh? Just see how he inherited something he knows nothing about. Well, I, such is life. I wish him luck. I just pity him, eh? Now he will need the shoulder to cry on. Please. He has a girlfriend. He should be. Cry on her shoulders. Hey! To think that he would do a thing like that make me wonder if love is real. Or do people claim to love other people for their selfish reasons? Huh? Barely one month, he just moved on as if nothing happened. Machi, please, can we? talk about something else. What kind of a friend are you? And what are you doing with Chief Omeka Felunaya? And don't you dare lie to me. Chief Omeka Felunaya. I do not have anything with Chief. For your information, I saw Chief going into your house the other day. I had to go back instead of seeing you as planned. Are you going to tell me what you have with him or you want my sister to know that you are now dating her fiance's father? Princess Udona. I am not dating Chifo. Uh -uh. Please, you don't even have to tell your sister about this. Because Chief is only asking me out and I said no. He only came here to see if he can make me change my mind. But he did not succeed. That is all. Rune, you are such a pathetic liar. Just know that I am watching you. Excuse me, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm here to see the princess. Any appointment, sir? And when did that one start? 
Please, sir, I am just following instructions. The princess instructed you that I should take an appointment before I see her. I am just following instructions. And please kindly make my work easy for me, sir. Are you here on appointment, sir? No, ma'am. Go in there and tell the princess that I'm here to see her. All right, please wait here, sir. I'll be right back. Good afternoon, princess. Good afternoon. She be here to see the princess. Hope you did not tell him that she's around. I told him that I want to check and get back to him. Mm -hmm. Fine. Um, tell him that I will see him shortly. You will see him shortly. But he's here to see the princess, Princess Chimere. Hey, hey, hey. If I slap you, eh, your brain will reset. Your focus will come back. Oh, I think that will see him shortly. You know I have always supported you. You know I have never said anything bad about you. But now that things are like this, I would advise you let my sister be and allow her do same. Is that what she said you should tell me? Leave Sister Chi Mary out of this. Eh? She didn't send me. I'm just looking out for my sister. I can't continue to see you play my sister. Can you at least tell her that I'm here to see her? Oh. Hmm. No problem. Call her phone. If she wants to see you, she will pick up. Excuse me. Who is it that just drove into the palace? It's Chibiki, but Princess Machi has refused to let him in. Chibiki is here? Why? Where is he now? He's outside. You go out there, tell Machi that I said she should let him in. Alright, my princess. You know what? Come back. Just go back to your chores. I'll handle this. Finally showed your face. Has it gotten to the extent of asking your maid and sisters not to let me into the palace? About the same way you asked your sister not to let me in when I visited. And you wouldn't take my calls. I never asked my sister not to let you in. Yes, I know we had misunderstanding, but that is not enough reason for you to shut me out entirely. You're not here to lecture me, are you? Because I don't have time for it. My princess, we need to talk. Come here. I was told Chibike was there and you refused him entrance into the palace. I had my reasons. And what stupid reason was that? Are you now trying to make things worse instead of looking for a way to get them back together? You don't even know what is going on. All you do is trying to fix your opinion where it's not needed and ended up missing out. What nonsense are you talking about? Are you aware that Sister Chimere caught Chibike kissing another woman? That's a lie. Are you also aware that Chief Omenka Funanya, Chibike's father, is a cultist. <laughs> Bet you just heard that. It just landed. Haji, you're messing with me, right? I just wanted to have the pleasure of being the one to give you this news in brief. 
So before you try to criticize or try to police people's lives, you should know why they do the things they do. Excuse me. all these things away from me. How could you do a thing like that to me? I trusted you. I loved you. I thought you loved me. Say. How was I to say it? Let's try this. Hey, Chibuike, I heard your father is a cultist. Not only that, he's been sleeping with women and making them useless. How do you like that? Chibuike, there is no way I would have told you such a thing without confirming if it was true or false. What a wonderful excuse. Very brilliant. At least you should have said something. Do you think it's cool walking around as if everything is all right? People calling you bad name behind you because of your father. When you don't even know. So I should have told you what I was unsure of. Would you have forgiven me? if I told you and eventually turns out to be false allegation? Honestly, this is not cool. It's not cool at all. You're being unreasonable. I had to make sure it was true before saying anything. Wait, wait, wait. Do you really believe him that he has not been aware of this? It is very possible. You can never trust me when it comes to keeping secrets. Hmm. I pity the head princess. Why? She has nothing to do with the scandal. I know, but she's the one behind the exposition. That chief may come for her and we know how bad it can get. Shif cannot do anything to the princess. Say, so forget that man and forget him for good. Hmm? Okay, wait. Do you think the head princess will want to go ahead and marry his son? Only the head princess will decide that. Okay? What is it? What is it? I am in no mood for any silliness. So it is true. But why didn't you tell us about it? At least no one would have been on your case like that. Who oh, don't know Can you just apologize without claiming right? I am not claiming any right. I am just stating the obvious. Come on, we are family. She should have at least said something to us. Well, now you know. Isn't it said that all that glitters is not gold? Udunne, I am still waiting for the part where you have to apologize to her for everything you said to her. But she caused it. Mm -hmm. If she had said something, no one would have insulted her. She relax. You are demanding an apology from this one. 
I don't care for it. That reminds me. You need to call your friend and warn her against Chief. I don't know what she has with Chief, but I saw Chief going to her house. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. What? You're serious, man. When? How did you see her and what were you doing in her house? Yes. My phone. I don't know. I left my phone in the room. It's my phone. I think there's something she's hiding from us. I'm sorry for pushing you into marriage, GBK. Belly go. I really meant well for you. I never knew his father was a devil. See that, Mom? You know, I'm not angry with you, Mom. I'm not. Because I know that all you did, you did because you wanted the best for me. Besides, who would have believed that Chief is evil like that? Okay. So, how is Mabu and Ne? I hope he's doing okay. Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's very fine. You know, he was in on all of this because he wanted justice for his late father. Aside that, he's been over the entire situation a long time ago. <sighs> That's okay. Um, do you two still talk well? I mean, are you still talking well? Mm -hmm. Stop it. <laughs> Mom, please, don't, don't do that. Mwapu Wane is only but my friend. Nothing more than that. Eh. Hey. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, <laughs> mommy. I'm very sure. It, it's okay. I I really want to be sure. That's all. Dad, did you even think about the effect this will have on your children? Or were you just being selfish without thinking about the implication this will have on us? Could this be where you are here? Is this why you are standing here? To block me and insult me when I'm living? Listen. You may do everything, but don't ever insult me in my house. Don't try it. Which house? This house you built with people's destiny? Is this what you call house? And how could you? Did you even think before you did what you did? Or let me put it this way. Don't you have conscience? Or have you sold your conscience to the devil? What do you know? Oh, I don't, what do you know? If not for this money you keep referring to as blood money, would you have been as comfortable as you are all your life? Look at you. You came into this world and everything happened to be at your beck and call. And you think, is that easy? My own parents, they gave me nothing. I inherited nothing from my parents because they had nothing. Even ordinary primary education, they were not able to give me. Every single thing you see that you keep calling blood money, my sweat. Nobody gave me a dime. I started from the scratch. How many times will I tell you that? How many times? To think 
that I have been enjoying this blood on other people's testing and it makes me sick. <laughs> Daddy, you could do something without sewing your hands. I am still shocked at you. What do you know? Look at you. You are shedding tears. What nonsense tears are you shedding before me? What do you know? Do you know how many times I have been good? Do you know how many times I have been robbed? Do you know how many times I have been denied of things that are supposed to come to me simply because of my background? Do you know how many times I've gotten involved in different categories of the so-called legitimate businesses? And everything, everything didn't work out in your life. Do not ever stand before me again and talk to me about legitimate business because I've done all those in the past and everything ended. Dad, don't you get it? And tears. Don't you get it? Get what? Nothing justifies this your act. Nothing. This is an act of wickedness. Inhuman. Dad, you do not deserve peace. You do not. God will punish you. You don't deserve peace. God will punish you. She has everything. And she believes it is easy. And you are telling me I don't have peace. I have peace. I have absolute peace. A man who has his money can buy everything, including peace. I know you don't want to see me. I know you hate me right now. That is why I'm here. To ask you to please forgive me. I am sorry. Please do not cast me away. Please, I need a shoulder to cry on right now. And I know you will lend me yours. Please do not throw me away. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Listen. I'm over it. I'm not angry with you. If anyone dares come for my father, the way I came for yours, Heaven knows I wouldn't take it lightly with that person. It's okay. You did the right thing. You are brave. I couldn't do it. I knew about it long ago. Oh. But I... I keep denying it. I tried everything possible to deny it. I was all in self-denial until I heard you speak face to face with my father with a fearless heart. It's okay. I knew it's time for me to face it and deal with it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sit, please. Come on. Sit okay. down. Sit down, please. Everything will be alright. I don't think so. People will whisper when they see me pass by. I can't wait to leave this country. You need to be blamed. Thank you so much for the warm reception, okay? Even after everything I did to It's you. nothing. Come on. There is something else I would love to ask you. It's about my brother. I don't know. Please don't spoil the mood. I know, but everything about EJ was a setup. What? My father arranged everything. He paid EJ to cause a sin that will make you leave my brother. Unfortunately, he succeeded. Do not leave my brother. 
He loves you so much. He cannot live without you and you know it. Please. Mapongo the Grief. Have you seen what she did? I told you that this girl had a plan to bring me down, to destroy me, and you said that you leave her alone. Look at it. She has raised a scandal, finally. Now my children are not even able to walk around the town anymore because people are pointing at them. People are gossiping. I am not even left out. People are gossiping too. And you actually feel I should sit down and do nothing about it? Mbana. I wouldn't want you to know a woman. When you decided to interfere with the princess of the kingdom as deeply wired into the ancestors of Umori, what do you expect? In the occult, we manipulate the gullible to stay afloat. We do not interfere with traditional institutions. Mapungo the Great, I believe you are missing the point. In fact, you are twisting it. I have no business with the established, deep-rooted, traditional institution of Umri. No. I am talking about a riffraff. A rat who has planned to run me out of the town. A town where I have invested so much. A town where I am known by all. And you think I am not going to do anything about this? Or one or your problem? I've tried to guide you. But it seems it's obvious that you are heading for doom. As a stubborn fly, you obviously don't want to listen until you are doomed. Leave the princess alone. She is the princess of the ancient of four. And they look out for her. Manage the scandal. And things will get better. I should manage the scandal. It's very easy to you. You will just sit down here, you don't even know what is happening outside. How do you go and manage the scandal? What I understand here now, Mapungu the Great, is that you have made up your mind. You don't want to help me. And I am going to help myself. Don't worry, Akode. Don't do anything stupid. Because I will not be there for you. Why are you standing here? Now that the whole village knows you for who you are. Now that we, your children, cannot walk through the world without getting side thoughts and insults from people who cannot even speak to us before. Hope you're not happy. Now, there is something I need to let you understand, boy. Freedom of speech and the freedom of expression are fundamental rights of citizens already enshrined in the Constitution. Therefore, people are free to say whatsoever they like. That is not my business. But I need you to know something. I am innocent of all these accusations until I am proven guilty. But you still denying it. Hope you are ready to face the king. <laughs> the question should be if the king is ready to face me. You know, the coconut says because I am not so certain what lies ahead. I should better travel with my own water. I need you to understand that I am a man who has mastered both the science and the art of money making. I am a man in money, not a man in royalty, for royalty is not my thing. I need you to grow up. If you must reason, reason like the son of a money bag. Where exactly have I gone wrong? How did I even end up as a son of this devil? This evil man! Oh God. Oh. And listen, let me tell you. 
if you continue sounding this way, one day you are going to force me to make you to disappear. Remember that. You are greeting me? Yes, sir. Why do I pay you the kind of money I pay you? And you cannot do anything for me. I ask you to find, get me any information the princess has on me. Because you are her friend. And you have not done that. And you are greeting me. Listen, Ogunne, I came here to ask you one very simple question. Why are you still alive? Hey, um, Chief, see, I am very sorry. Honestly, I will try as much as possible to 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 Be very to sorry for yourself. It is so clear you have nothing for me. And you are not ever going to have anything for me. I have something for you. Hey, uh, Chief, please do not kill me. I'm sorry. I uh, do, do not kill me. Don't worry, I will deliver it. I just Shut up. I want you to kill Princess Shimere. And you are going to do it as fast as possible. Hey, Chief, can I really do that? You're asking me, can you really do that? Listen, if your life is of any importance to you, then you must figure a way to end that lousy enemy of mine. Listen, if you consider your life important, do it faster than immediately. Am I understood? Yes, sir. This is unbelievable. You mean he threatened you after you confronted him? Yes. That was why I kept quiet. I've been going from one prayer house to the other. They can tell me my problem, but none of them will do anything about it. That is the problem. That is, you see those people? They can tell you the amount of meat in your pot of soup. They can tell you the color of your underwear, tell you your phone number, yet no single solution. I'm telling you, that place you went to was even the worst place you would have come to. So... The places you visited, they all told you that Chief used your destiny for ritual? Most of them said that. Some even collect money in the name of deliverance, but none of them worked. Are you serious? Can you hear her now? <sighs> this is not enough evidence to nail him with. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
I know. I'm working on something, something very serious. Just give me some time. Put your fingers crossed. Greetings, my princess. Juice made in the palace. She will like it. Please drop it here and leave. What is the matter with you? You don't speak to a palace maid like that. That young girl did nothing but serve you freshly made juice. And you ought to be grateful. I thought we are friends. Is anybody disputing that fact? Fine. We are friends. And yet you have refused to tell me anything about Chief. Can you imagine? I now hear things that you want to do from outsiders. Remember, if we're to be me, I would have rushed on here and given you every information that you want to hear. What are you talking about? You think you're the only one that knows how to keep secrets? Hmm? I have no idea what you're blabbing about. You know, I wonder what it is you have with Chief. What's the deal? Because you get so curious when matters that hover around Chief erupt. What is it? Is there anything I should know about? Please do not even change the topic. Don't turn the table around because we are talking about you here. Okay, Ogone, as you know, my business is my business. The earlier you stopped poking your nose into my business and respecting the facts that I choose to keep some things private, the better for you. Isn't you're talking to like this? Mm -hmm. You are my friend. But how I choose to do things, it's not your business. And I suggest on a serious note that you stop poking your nose in other people's affairs. I, for one, have never poked my nose into your affairs. Have I? <laughs> Princess, are you okay? You're looking as though something is wrong. What is it? I was with one of the women that Chief slept with and as a result has remained useless. Father, if you hear her story, you weep. People can be so heartless and mean. You know what? I have already decided to allow the deep-rooted traditional laws of this land to catch up with him sooner or later. Something tells me that Chief might try to harm me. Listen to me. No mortal can harm the one that is under the protection of the ancestral or foe of this kingdom. You are not dad, you should know this. I know that. But still, I'm scared. You don't have to be. Listen, I am already taking care of things from my own end. 
and I can assure you that justice will prevail very soon. I don't know what you're planning, Daddy, but I trust you completely. You can trust me. I'd like you to see her yourself. I know this will not be easy for you because it's your father we're talking about. But I will not look away because it's your father. So when do you want me to come? I'm just coming back home, but I can start coming if you wish. No, no, you need to catch your rest. Tomorrow is still fine. So where are we going to meet? You can come to the palace or you can meet anywhere that you pick. Anywhere but your house. All right then, tomorrow. Bye-bye then. I am planning to leave this country and I am leaving very soon. I just want to tell you so that it won't take you by surprise when it happens. So this is how our family will scatter because of that. It's all the money, all the luxury and comfort. This is how it ended. I can't believe everything is happening to me. I can't believe that I won't spend the rest of my life with Princess Chimber. I wish I can tell you everything will be all right, but I don't even believe it myself. We just have to be strong and face it as it comes. So what is your plan? I'm also sad. I'm leaving this country as well. Good for you. Father, I know you are doing everything possible to make sure they don't come back together. But it's time for you to stop. Listen to me, Adana. I am doing everything possible to have you and your brother have the best of life. I am doing this in your overall interest. That princess, from what I have seen, is not good for your brother. And I'm going to do everything possible to make sure they are not together. You don't have that right anymore, Dad. What? No, you don't. Yes, and I am doing everything possible, like I am working hard to make sure they come back together. And I will not forgive you if you mess things up for me. Hey, I don't know. Yeah, listen, listen to me. You may decide to do all things as a daughter of a man who is in a position of authority. I don't have a problem with that. But one thing you must not do, Adana, is to stand on my way or threaten me. Don't do it. Father, I am not threatening you. Yes. But do not spoil my effort at trying to reconcile my brother with the only woman that he loves. That if you do that, you will not like the way I will react. You won't like it. I don't know you are going to react. And I will not like how you will react. I don't know. I'm happy and I appreciate your time. One thing I can promise you too is justice. The ancient or fall of my fathers is superior to the occult. And from what my father has told me, your justice and that of the other women whose lives have been tampered with courtesy of chief will equally be salvaged. Thank you, my princess. I've gone to different places, but they could not help me. I am ready for the purification that comes through to your fall. I want to be useful. Please. The man has so crippled me that nothing works for me anymore. It appears everything I do is being controlled by a force. That's indeed a fact. Everything is spiritually controlled. But not to worry. 
by the time you are exposed to the offer, all the demons he injected into you will go back to him. My princess is ready. I am ever ready, my princess. I will borrow money for a business. At the end of the business, nothing comes out of it. Men will come for my friends. I give them money. I mean real money. But any man who comes around me wants to know how much that's in my bank account. No one wants to help me. It's okay. I feel your frustrations. But not to worry. It will all be over soon. Thank you, my princess. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I am going to tell you the same thing that I already told all the people that have called for me to lift the offer of this kingdom against your father. That will be the final phase and the phases of trying to undo what he did. My king, I'm not just here because of the love I have for the princess, but also the love I have for humanity. I am not like my father. and I am officially washing my hands off everything that concerns my father. Well, that is so nice to hear. And I must say that I salute your courage. But I still feel too that your father is in dear need of redemption. I must be honest with you. I am working on a whole lot of options. And I want to plead with you not to give up on your father here. My king, I have seen women he ruined. And I still wonder what made him develop to such demonic man. <sighs> the irony of life. People do so many things for money. And that is why in this kingdom we don't give our chief tense because of money. But like I said before, I am working on a whole lot of options. And I see light at the end of the tunnel. My king, you are talking like a king, Sam. But my father, Omin Kaflona, is not interested. No matter what, young man. The fact remains that he is your father. And he deserves your respect. Well, I, I won't argue with the revered king of Umumbi, but I feel anyone who could render his fellow human useless, all in the name of acquiring wealth, does not deserve any respect. That is well. He's leaving the country. He said once everything is over, he will leave. He's what? I know he didn't tell you, so I took out my time to come and tell you because I know how this is so important to be to you. Are you sure you want him to leave? If leaving will make him happy, then he should leave. Or well, he's leaving because the only woman he loves rejected him. So I'm here to ask that same woman, are you ready to give up the love of your life? Because of the sins of his father, knowing full well he loves you and cannot live without you. Can we talk about something else, please? I will leave you to ponder on this. I'm sure you know what to do. My I'm scared. I tried talking to Chimera, but she, she waved it off. What are you scared of? I had a very bad dream. Let us look for a way and send Chimera out of this land. Someone is trying to harm her, and I wouldn't want anything to happen to my daughter. <sighs> Listen. Chimera is an adult. 
in the palace of Umuri. She is already protected in the ancient of four of this kingdom. Anybody can try, but I can assure you nothing will happen. Your Highness, let us send her abroad. Then when you're finally done with whatever investigation you're doing, she can come back. Please. Listen. You know full well that she will never stop whatever she is doing for whatever reason. You know it. You know your daughter, Chimere. But like I said before, nothing is going to happen to her, okay? Yes. Your Highness, you know what? What? Is this you that my daughter resembles in stubbornness? Your Majesty, I can't believe this. You mean some people fed you with this level of lies against a man of my status and you listen to them? What wrong have I done? In that case, are you trying to deny the allegation? Your Majesty, I am not just denying the allegation, for the allegation is absolutely unfounded. Your Majesty, my hands are very clean. All I have done in this kingdom is to help the needy. Answer the kingdom anytime I am called. Why would anybody want to spoil my name? Well, there is only one way to douse this tension and uh, foster peace in this kingdom. And that is? For you to swear on the ancient of four of Umuri to prove that you are innocent. Come on, Jesse, are you not asking the impossible? Yes. For you know it yourself that I am not just a chief in this kingdom. I am a double chief. And you know it yourself that a chief must not be asked to swear because people should be able to take what he says. Why are you asking me to swear, Your Majesty? Why are you playing into the hands of those that want to break me down? Chief of Michael, it appears you are not even ready to end this once and for all. Your Majesty, the issue here is that a man who has paid his dues in the kingdom must not be humiliated. What I am seeing here is that uh, you are possibly listening to those that want to humiliate me and I wonder why. Mabongo the greatest, I don't know why you are doing this. If I should go ahead and swear on that ancient offer of woman, I am going to die and you know it. I don't know why you are asking me to go ahead and handle this. I don't know how to handle it. Or does it mean you want me to die? I have made myself clear. I don't want to get involved with ancient authorities. Yeah, but you are still that same priest. Who ministers on the altar of Wicca? You are the same person who controls the lords of the wizards in the air. Countless number of times you have done it before me. You have controlled a lot of things outside here from here. Why is this one different? I just want you to tamper with that offer. As it has become clear that I must swear on it. I want you to tamper with the offer. So that when finally I swear on it, it won't affect. That's all. We can always manipulate the process of justice under canon law. Once is the best to deep rooted authorities. I suggest you leave it alone. I should leave it alone. Leave it alone and, and lose relevance in the same kingdom where I am considered to be a lord. In the same kingdom where I am respected even more than the king. You want me to leave them alone and lose relevance? How can you say a thing like that? How can I do a thing like that? There must be something you can do. Help me. Leave this town. Travel to another kingdom. Where you continue to live large. Who knows? 
By the time you come back, like 10 years, the king may have died. This is the only way. Leave your fork alone. You should leave this town. Yes. The same town I told you that I, I, I am practically the owner to leave it. You know? All you super lords of the wizard in the air should bear me witness that I warn him. If he ignites any fire, he will quit the fire alone. Why are you just telling me this now? I have been following it up, my princess. I just needed to be sure that Ogonia would do it before telling you. And now you have the confirmation you need? Because I have denied her access into the palace. She may want to try it when you're not in the palace. That's why I'm asking you to please. Send me anywhere you plan going to. Please, my princess, do not leave the palace, please. Well, thank you for the information. But know this. Chief Omenka Flonaya as her boss, boyfriend, or whatever he is to her, cannot harm me. I am the Ada of Unri. I'm going out now, and I will come back in one piece. Every inch a princess. How I love her. Honestly, you gave me the shock of my life. You are the last person I expected to see. So, uh, I need you to tell me the truth. What do you have with Chief Omenka Flonanya? Chief? I have nothing with Chief. Are you going to tell me the truth? Or are you going to continue lying? I am telling you the truth. I have nothing with Chief. Who even told you I have something to do with Chief? Okay, I swear on my mother's grave. If I have anything to do with Chief, let me know no peace. Hmm. Oh, God, name. You are before the princess of Uri. And you still want to continue lying? Why are you calling me a liar? After I swore on my mother's grave, I am telling you the truth. I have nothing with Chief. Do you know why I came to you straight without any third party? It's because I want to prove to you that I am not afraid. Soon, Whatever it is you have up your sleeves will come to light. And when that happens, our friendship will come to an end. But you will still find out I have nothing with Chief Omenka for Lulanya. Probably the one calling you. Go on. Take that call. Why is this bastard not taking her call? Why? 
próximo mês de ano. Pick your call. My problem with you is that you act without thinking. I am telling you the truth. I had to confront her and she opened up. But she didn't want you to know about it. So why didn't she tell me? I actually felt it is not my business. I mean, the adults, what they decide to do should not be my concern. But I'm only hoping she has not slept with Chief yet. Oh my God, you make a valid point. And I should have asked her. Don't you think? Are you being serious right now? Yes. How can you possibly ask a woman that? Why not? Listen, Udona. I'm not just a princess like you. I am the head princess of Umunri. And I can ask anybody anything. Oh, oh, oh. You came back. Okay. You thought Chief Omeka Fnaya was the one calling me. And you came to find out if he is here. Okay, fine. Go in, go in. Check. Check around for yourself. You will see that I am the only one in this house. All of a sudden, you are monitoring me. Why? Sit. Okay. I'm not here to entertain your drama. I am here to ask you a very important question. A question that is for your own good. And I would want you to answer me sincerely. Have you slept with him? With who? What are you talking about? Have you slept with Chief Omenka Folonanya? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> I'm aware about him asking you out. But what I want to know now is, has he tasted the woman in you? Oh, that. No, he did not. That devil tried so much to convince me to do it with him. But all thanks to God, I did not do it. Thank God. Whew. I was worried when I heard the news. Thank God, I am happy too. I didn't do it with him. Because... I heard about the way he made women useless after sleeping with them. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm thanking God I didn't do it. So why didn't you tell me when I asked you? I was so ashamed to say it to you. You know, when an older man is asking you out, it's not something to be proud of. Honestly. 
Anyway, my friend, um, can I get you something to drink? Sure. You're my friend, you know what I like. <laughs> you always say sweet things to me. <laughs> Let's do together, friendship. Sure. Now? Mm -hmm. See you later. I did not do it. How can I kill my friend because of Chief Omenka from Nanya? God forbid. I will not. <sighs> to be honest with you, I was aware of the likelihood of the juice you served me yesterday being poisoned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Nonetheless, I drank it. All of it. And I did so to prove a point to you and that evil chief who must pay for his sins. I am the princess of Umunri. No mortal can end my life, no matter how hard they try. He said I should kill you that if I do not kill you, that he will kill me. But honestly, I do not want to kill you. And I don't want to die either, please. I, I, I am sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm going to stand up. Oh, please sit. Please forgive me. I have forgiven you. Just like that? Yeah. You're such a nice friend. Thank you so much. But you have to stay here till all of this is over. The palace will protect you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God, I'm going to stand up, please. Thank you. You're welcome. 
But I didn't come with anything like clothes if I have to stay here. Everything you need is here and you know that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Mm. You're such a good friend. I know. Daddy. Chief Omen Kaflo Nanya commissioned my friend Ogone to kill me. What? How did you find about this? She confessed. And now she's scared for her life. Because Chief told her that if she does not kill me, he'll kill her. Chief Omenka, what is wrong with this man? Everything is wrong with him, Daddy. And that is because you have condoned him for so long. King of Umunre, and in Umunre and even beyond, your words are law. You cannot continue to allow Jifomen Kaflonanya parade himself as if he is an emperor that has conquered everyone. My lord, you really have to do something about it and very fast too. Listen to me, woman. I am not just any king. I am that king that ministers on an offer that is superior to politics and vanity of human being. I am assuring you that something will happen tomorrow. And that man you just mentioned will understand that here in this kingdom, there is something that is far superior to occult and all the occult masters put together. What if he kills our daughter before tomorrow? You are waiting upon the gods when you are the god our people see. You are the god in this kingdom and everyone respects you. My lord, please do something and very fast too. You cannot dictate for the king. Listen, I am not happy at all. Why are you wasting so much time on this? Tomorrow is the deadline and I want that stuff delivered to me. Today. Are you serious? So why are you not here already? Listen, my son and my daughter have left my house. I live here alone now. So I just wanted to come with the stuff and meet me in my first living room. <laughs> Listen, because you have the stuff already, Consider it done. I promised you one million naira, but you are going to receive an alert of two million naira right now. So start coming with the stuff as soon as the alert is there. <laughs> Why is he bothered about money when he knows I have excess of it? What is the meaning of this? Me, Chief. I mean, why are you dressed like this? I am certain you have received the alert already. So where is the offer I paid for? The ancient offer of Umuri Kingdom. I have it here. And if we kwane me me, when you will go to the ancient of of Umunre, the sacred autosse, undo money jidi abobe. I am going to set you ablaze, and I will wash you, born into ashes. Let me see how the king of Umunre will challenge me.
The spirits of the four market days of Igbo land have finally vindicated me. And no matter how fast a man thinks he can run, he cannot run faster than his chi. Behold the remains of the evil man I called my father. The one who made you say no to me. Heaven knows I love you like my own life. And to celebrate the victory of God over evil, will you still say no to me? There is no better time to say yes than now. I love you. Chibuke, I love you with everything in me. And on the sacredness of the four of my fathers, I not only say yes, but I vow to love you till death do us part. She said yes. Well, I had it. I had it. <laughs> Thank you. 